Welcome back to the channel. Boom. Yo. So apparently, <laughs> we've been following. <clears throat> we've been following this whole Queen Boons a lot nonsense story where it's some dumbass Twitch streamer partner that decided to fake in the most dumb and obvious ways um, <laughs> an Alatrion run in Monster Hunter World. If you don't know who Alatrion is, I didn't know either. <clears throat> it's apparently the hardest boss fight in Monster Hunter World. And she decided, well, I've done this 4,000 times. I'm just gonna put a blindfold on and do it blindfolded because I've done it so much, right? Not knowing that when you do these things, you kind of slide into a specific um, subset of the gaming community where everyone is nuts. <laughs> in a good way, in a good way. Um, so you went into one of the hardest communities in the gaming sphere and you tried to cheat on them, right? You tried to fake that stuff. Here's the thing. Those people are all nuts in a good way. Uh, they immediately noticed she was a fraud. Total and utter fraud. Um, <clears throat> we went through the, the previous video in what, why she was a fraud, right? Uh, there was another video coming out, 29 February from Carl Jobst. That video came out completely, utterly destroyed this woman. <laughs> like, if you still have a doubt that she is cheating or not cheating, then you probably just need to stop because it's like 100%. She's, she's been completely and utterly um, exposed. After that video, even more came out that's even more proof <laughs> that she's lying and that she faked it for clout. <clears throat> this obviously is not a good look for um, <clears throat> our partner slash Twitch streamer, right? So, what happens? Well, Asmund, who made the entire thing blow up and the, old, the, the entire reason that this came to the eyes and ears of this speedrunning community. Um, well, he's talking about it again. And one of the mods from Queen Punzalot decided to open his mouth. And <laughs> apparently it's hilarious, right? I've only seen the first five minutes because then I realized like, yo, we got to watch this on stream, dude. This is going to be funniest. Oh. So, without further ado, let's see what the mod has to say and how the mod is going to obfuscate and try and uh, defend his queen, right? <laughs> I have a feeling this isn't going to go so well for this man. All right, let's go through it. Let's, 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 let's just go through it. I'm just gonna, we're just going to start it. Um, so he shows up. And he's like, oh, may I respond to your prior comments? You reviewed my messages before, and I'd like to respond. I'd like to respond as her moder mo moderator. Moderator, if you'd allow me. So, this guy is his moder is her moderator, and apparently, I'm guessing he knows her personally or something, because the way he's defending her, in, even in the first few minutes, the ones that I watched already, I'm like, yeah, mm-mm. <laughs> This is a classic example of, I don't want to see it. No, she's totally, yeah, yeah, I'm on her, I'm on, I'm, I'm on her side no matter what. And it shows. Um, even in the first few minutes. So let's go through it and we'll see. Response for, uh, you know, at least the closest thing that we can get to it uh, for this. White Knight's the rescue? Her mods coming in like a sheep for the slaughter? No, no, I mean, he just wants to explain his point of view. What's wrong with that? Yeah, her mod did nothing wrong. Yeah, th yeah keep in mind, guys, the mod did nothing wrong. Be nice. Guys. Yet. Hey, what's up? Yo. Hey, can you guys hear me? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Yeah. Notice, by the way, look at where she's holding up the camera, right? You see this little thing right here? Ah, oh, fuck, I fucking pressed the five, pressed my side button. FML. Ooh, what's wrong with that? Yeah, her mod didn't. Okay. You see this thing right here? This is a chat. <clears throat> this is a Twitch chat. Notice how, where she's holding up the camera. So the camera is over here somewhere, right? There's one screen, two screens, and when you notice this here, three screens. Not to mention, she literally responded <laughs> to, 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 to the chat on her third monitor 
before she realized, oh, I'm not supposed to respond to the chat on my third monitor because I'm not supposed to have a third monitor because I'm supposed to be doing this blindfolded, right? So, again, right? Uh, totally fake. 100% fake. She 100% has three monitors, even though she says she has two monitors. Like, all of this is already ironclad. <clears throat> all right. Ironclad as hell. Okay. So. How is this mod gonna lie, right? Because he's gonna lie. You have to. <laughs> like, she's, she got exposed. She is 100% a fraud. All right. You can literally see the reflection because this fucking person is so dumb, they don't realize screens have reflections. You hold that stuff up. You better make damn sure it doesn't reflect your third monitor, huh? <laughs> like, so stupid, bro. So, continue, continue. Nothing wrong. Yeah, the, yeah. keep in mind, guys, the mod did nothing wrong. Be nice, guys. Hey, Besides being up? gullible as hell. Yo. Hey, can you guys hear me? Uh, uh, yeah. Yes, I can. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Atili. I appreciate you setting it up. Thank you very much. Hi, oh, thank you, Atili. And hi, uh, Asmin and chat. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. I appreciate your time. Oh, yeah. I mean, I appreciate yours as well. I mean, obviously, I'm sure you've probably seen the video. And so, uh, do you think that she cheated? I know for a fact that she didn't. Okay. How do you know that? Because I've watched her do it myself live. And I know that And before, if I may, may I have a minute or two? Go ahead. I understand that everyone will call me biased. And I know that. I yeah, understand that as... And, as, and I am biased. I will admit that right. wholeheartedly and completely. I am biased. So, right here, we can already disregard whatever he's going to say. <laughs> he flat out admits, yeah, I'm here to play Defender. I'm here to obfuscate. I've watched her do it personally. I've watched her do it multiple times personally. I also helped with communication with Mitriz, the blindfold expert who's been helping her with the setup and everything that we went through mm -hmm. i'm happy to answer any questions regarding her setup there is no need for anyone to lie about anything or not be transparent she did nothing wrong she did not cheat anything all of this is our straight up lies already which she's it was very much proven she did something wrong and she was cheating <laughs> like go watch girl Yub's video i'll make sure to link it in the in the description it's very very well done girl Yub's is like one of the best youtubers on platform you should definitely go follow him go watch that video if you still think she didn't that she didn't cheat after watching that video i don't know what to say like nothing will satisfy you in terms of proof <laughs> like it's as ironclad as you're ever gonna get super super confirmed she has not cheated anything and i understand that there's a lot of skepticism i understand <clears throat> there's a lot of questioning and i think that it's important for us to understand that conjecture does not equal proof there is no physical proof there's a lot of conjecture. There's a lot of examining many. Hello, Shaddy. Welcome, dude. Things that are on the table that are that people claim, oh, she did this. She moved that. She did. But there's there's no actual proof that any of this happened. Well, there's no proof that it and, did and, either. I, I, and, and of course. And what I would suggest, and if I may, um, to chat and to yourself, uh, Asmongold, and to anyone who questions whether or not she can and did do this, I, I want to legitimately ask, what would it take to prove that she is indeed legitimate? If um, for example, what would it take? Here's the thing. Here's, this is the wrong question. All right, What would it take to prove that she's legitimate? Here, that's, that's nothing. The fact that she has a three-monitor setup and only shows two of those screens is a very big giveaway about the trustworthiness of this person. AKA, it's less than zero. All right. You're acting like you're covering up two screens and then people see you slide something to a third screen. That's really sus. You acting like you have two screens, then being a complete and utter moron and holding up your camera, your phone, to the camera that then reflects the Clearly, the chat on your third screen is a very, very, very big red flag. Couple that to the fact that the way she's playing the game would be literally impossible if she was in fact blind. 
That is called a nail in the coffin. Care to explain that away? What would it take to prove that she's real? Uh, well, a less obvious fake would be a good start. I'm just saying. If it meant covering the third monitor, showing a camera with all... Oh, so she has a third monitor. Oh, okay. It's He's already confirmed it. We're, we're not... We're one minute into the... We're one minute into this, and he's already, like... Like Queen, Queen Poons a lot, this guy is a bit of a moron. You shouldn't probably, you should probably not have mentioned that she has a third monitor just now. Because you just confirmed this bitch lying. Well done, well done. This moderator is a brilliant, brilliant brainlet. <laughs> what an imbecile, bro. Why would you admit that straight off the bat? Oh my god, these people. <clears throat> Here's the thing, if you're gonna fake something and you're gonna lie about it, at least keep lying. You should probably keep lying, right? Because he just gave it away. <laughs> the criticism is, she only showed two monitors, it's up on her third monitor. And here you are, oh well, she should have covered her third monitor. I'm sorry, what? When was it said she had a third monitor by you guys? Oh, never. So you were lying before, so you're actually a fake. Gotcha. Okay, we don't actually, we technically don't even need to see more. Because he already, <laughs> he already gave the game away. Immediately. This guy is not that smart, holy hell. All three monitors, and showing that there are no other monitors present, showing that she's still wearing the exact... Wait, wait. If it meant covering the third monitor, showing a camera with all three monitors, and showing that there are no other monitors present, showing that she's still wearing the exact same blindfold that was wrapped. Bro, this guy just gave it away completely, dude. <laughs> like, is this guy, is this guy for real? This is your defense? Yeah, she faked it. <laughs> like, that's essentially this guy's defense. The defense of her not faking it is like, yeah, she faked it. There's a, there was a third monitor, yeah. I got, confirmed, there's a third monitor. <laughs> like, they, these people are so brain dead, bro. Why would you go to the most autistic community? I love you. Speedrunners, I really, I love you guys. You guys make the most awesome content and your drama is top notch. All right, don't get me wrong. But why would you go <clears throat> to the most autistic of places in gaming and then you try and get one over on like the biggest nerd and autists in the gaming sphere? Are you, are you brain? Well, yes, she's brain dead, obviously. You wouldn't even try this otherwise, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> I get that. I get that you want to, like, cheat something and you want to fake something and then give that to plebs that have no idea what's going on and they'll be, like, super impressed. But if you give it to people that know what's going on, they'll immediately notice, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> there's, there's a couple of red flags with these guys. And then people are going to, like, do their little due diligence and they're going to find out all the glaring errors and all the, the mistakes that you made. And then they're gonna put that in a nice little video. And then you're gonna look like a moron because you tried to fake something. In the one place you really don't wanna fake stuff. Anyway. Recommended by a world expert used by Mitra's and Bubsia themselves. You know, what does it take? Because I know for a fact that she can do this. She's done it not once, not twice, but several times. Her <clears throat> if she's done it several times, it's kinda weird that she never shows where she actually does it, and only shows the ones where she faked it. Care to explain? She's done it several times, right? Then why did we only see the fake ones? Huh? Because the videos she made, and you guys posted to Asmongold. Like, don't give me- don't forget, right? It's their own damn fault that this got exposed. Because they were trying to- they were trying to farm that first video for Cloud, and they were like, Oh, get Asmongold! Get Asmund, get Asmund Gold to watch it because our queen needs the exposure. Well, she got the exposure now, and all of a sudden you're whining because it's obvious that she's a fake and a fraud. Ah, uh, curious how that works. No, you got the attention you deserve. <laughs> and I was gonna put the F word in there for the, the Joker reference, right? You get what you mm -mm deserve, and this is getting what you mm -mm deserve. And I am so here for it, dude. This this drama. It's hilarious. I love this shit. <laughs> like, I, love, I absolutely love this stuff. Her second attempt is a purely legitimate run that was done with every specification that Mitch Riz mentioned. 
and it's met with her second attempt was purely legitimate so legitimate that there's like a multitude of videos about it on how insanely fake and obviously fake it was that's how legitimate it was nothing but criticism which i again i understand i don't think that it's unreasonable to be skeptical but i think to to bend an argument to fit your purpose is not appropriate to say that, oh, this is what must have happened because this is what I believed happened, when it didn't happen, she's being accused. Except there's a multitude of uh, evidentiary points that very much point to it did, you did fake it, <laughs> right? For example, not mentioning the third monitor, not mentioning, um, or not, sorry, not mentioning the third monitor, moving the chat to the third monitor, responding to a question because you're a She's a brainlet and really, really dumb, right? She literally, you could see it. This go to Carl Jobs video. You can see it. She drags this stuff to a different fucking monitor, all right? Responds on that monitor and then halfway through the response realizes, oh, I'm actually not supposed to have this third monitor. And does this whole spiel. You could, you could like literally like she sighs and then opens the thing and then acts like she read it on the second fucking monitor, even though she was already halfway to, into clearly, obviously answering this question. Like this is, this bitch lying, lying. Use of a crime she didn't commit, and I know that for a fact. I'm willing to, I'm willing to. So this guy is essentially like, oh guys, I'm, I'm her partner in crime, but trust me, she's totally legit. <laughs> like, okay, bro. Okay. Put money on it. So, um, okay. Uh, all right. So first thing is that, why do you think that she tilted her head in a different angle whenever she was wearing the other blindfold? Well, okay. I got to explain this as well in case you didn't watch the Carl Jobs video. When you wear a blindfold and you wear it very, very, very loose, you get room. And she was playing like this. Now, remember, she has a monitor over there. She has a monitor over there. And the f a hidden one over there. Now, what happens if I tilt my head like this? Like, oh, I can see my fucking monitor on that side. Interesting. This also works when you're wearing a head, um, a blindfold and you're wearing it terribly wrong <laughs> on purpose, obviously. She's, she's wearing it very, very, very um, light, like not, not like fit to the screen when you really can't see anything because then obviously it's going to be on your nose. No, no, it was like this, <laughs> right? So she can just do this and see whatever she wants to see, which has been proven by a multitude of people, including someone called Juzzy, I believe. These are all Monster Hunter um, um, personalities, so apologize, apologies to them if I butcher one of your names. Um, but he literally did exactly what she did, only better, because he was much faster uh, and didn't mess, uh, mess up. And then pointed out, yeah, I did this because I can see through the damn blindfold, <laughs> right? I can see underneath it. <clears throat> and she had the, he had the same blindfold that she did. Um, so yeah, she completely debunked already. Not even to, not to mention, regardless of the fact that she, you can see her move a screen to a third window, regardless of the fact that she responds to somebody on that third monitor, regardless of the fact that she is dumb enough to hold up her camera, which has a reflective fucking screen that shows her chat on the third hidden monitor, right? It's like, this is insanity. She got busted so hard. She got called out so hard. There is no, like, there, what is going to be the defense? Anything, everything this guy has said already is complete horseshit and useless in a defense. The first, you mean, the, well, do you mean that the second blindfold versus the first? Yeah. Sure. Whenever you're under a stress response, your body reacts differently. You position yourself differently. In the very first run when she's wearing the first blindfold, it was a carefree run on stream done with friends for a random, hey, I wonder if I could do this. It was a completely different circumstance. My, under understanding, the of the, my understanding of the psychological body language, whenever that happens, people usually actually huddle up more to protect their, like, their mid-body because that's where your organs are. That's where, mm, that's you know. So you can tell the way she's sitting, right? If you, if you see the first video, she's sitting like this. Right, because in the first video, 
her blindfold was clearly see-through. So she's sitting like this because she's actually looking at the screen, right? But now she's actually having, she's got a real blindfold that is not see-through, but you can see through the cracks. So now all of a sudden she sits like this. Because <laughs> that's not obvious at all, right? No, no, no. No, no, it's a stress response, guys. When you have a stress response, you don't, in fact, go more into yourself. No, no, you go open. Because when you have a stress response, you look very confident, right? I'm having a massive stress response right now, guys. Can you tell? Hey, this is my stress response. It's not like, oh my god, what the fuck is going on? No, no. My stress response. So, this guy is a moron, bro. Like, what the hell is he saying? Look at... You can immediately tell when something is fake by the... The, the lies that they try to peddle and these lies are so ridiculous there's no this is this is actually reinforcing in my mind that she is fake as fuck bro <laughs> like, what is this argument I, oh, I'm, I, a, I, I'm a physician i'm a physician i don't buy that for a second that's not that's entirely not true. true it's not entirely no, it's not true not well, which true. one is more no, true than the other well, people have different physiological responses to stress sure and so, so her changing her body position, her head position, is in in one way or another. It, it doesn't mean that she's trying to position herself to see. Something. It doesn't mean that necessarily, but it does line up heavily, which is kind of that's kind of sus, no? It's kind of sus. I'm I'm not gonna lie. Like blind, the blindfold is see through. The blindfold is not see-through, but you can see through your no underneath your nose bridge. I think that's pretty fucking obvious, don't you? Unless you're obviously like in a relationship with this lady, or you have a relationship, or you want a relationship, right? Then maybe you're gonna lie through your ass, aka simp. <laughs> something or to maneuver something. I mean, if you, I, I wouldn't. I would even. I'd be happy to send you the same blindfold she used. I would encourage you to try to do what she's been accused of doing and to see just how difficult that would even well, I mean, be. I could barely do it with the blindfold off, all right? So I don't, I don't want to get that far. And, to, and, and uh, congratulations, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we're we're yeah. all very happy for you for yeah, uh, getting that kill. Yeah, we finally, finally. Absolutely. So cringe. But, um, absolutely. Yeah, so, all right. So you think that it's legitimate and you think that the way that she was sitting was just purely a stress response and I, it wasn't I, her. I don't. If I may, I don't think I know. I know that it is legitimate. Okay. Without so, a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. Okay. Um, Correct. So, have you seen her do it in person? Yes. Okay. Um, like, not over... Got any proof of that? No? Oh, okay. <laughs> like, don't, don't forget, guys. This guy is just talking. Zero evidence of nothing. He's just trying to talk his way or talk her way out of it i suppose what what are you giving me <clears throat> because i've got a lot of evidence on the other end right what are you giving me that is gonna sway my mind off of the pretty big um mountain let's say of damning evidence that she really was fraud and cheaty because if you're just gonna talk and you're not gonna say anything and you're gonna show anything, then what are you even here for, right? Camera, but literally you no, being in no, the no, same I have, room. I have, I have been standing in the same exact room. Yes. Okay. And so... I, here's the thing about... Here's why I like Gold. I would not be as charitable as Asmund Gold is. Like, he's thinking really hard to ask really good questions, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know what the question is going to be. I We've not gone this far at, at all. Um, so all of this is new for me as well. But I would just be, I would just straight up, like, go against this a little bit. Because this guy's trying to gaslight me into believing something, <laughs> right? So where is... I'm I'm actually like impressed by Asmund Gold too, that he like is really thinking about the questions he's asking and not not just like like me I would go a little bit harder you know what I mean? Let me just think about this. For and, a and 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 I and I would be okay. happy to say I mean the the, the most direct response right the easiest Occam's razor is well let's just have someone watch it live right I understand that 
I understand that it would be simple to say, well, let's get someone in the room, a verified expert, a bona fide person. Oh, sure, the, sure, the, yeah. The, 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 the Pope, even, right? Right, of course, um, naturally. But, but, but I also want to bring up the point that it doesn't seem like anybody else has been held to the standard that she's been held to. <laughs> Yo, we this have... is massive cope, bro. This is massive, 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 massive cope. Holy shit. Bro, <clears throat> she's not even held to the highest standards of the speedrun community, dude. Not even remotely close. And the reason for that is her fake speedrun was so, so, so badly done that it took like all of a week <laughs> to figure out it was fake as boom. Meanwhile, I've got this open because I know this was I knew this was coming up, right? Here is the PDF for the investigation around Dream, a Minecraft runner, all right? Let's just go through the content table, all right? The introduction, why they think he's cheating. The mechanics, the exact me Okay. Look at the mechanics. Look at this shit, bro. Speedrun of Minecraft Java Edition. In particular, speedruns of the category known as any percent. Blah, 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 blah. Here we go. In 1.16, the only way to obtain an Eye of Ender is by crafting it, which requires one Ender Pearl and one Blaze Powder. Ender pearls can be obtained in several ways, but the fastest is to use a mechanic known as bartering. In a barter, the player exchanges a gold ingot with a piglin, a humanoid creature in the nether dimension, for a randomly chosen item or group of items. For each barter, there is about a 5% chance the piglin will give the player ender pearls. Blaze powder is crafted out of blaze, blah 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 blah. Anyway, they literally, look at this shit, bro. They like went crazy on the math to figure out this guy was cheating his runs by only like a couple of percentage points right like instead of five percent he had a ten percent chance i'm just paraphrasing these aren't the actual numbers but to say that queen punzalot had like an unreasonable look at this look at this formulas bro how do you think some dumbass person on twitch makes a terrible blindfold video and a couple of people are like oh yeah she's faking it and here's why matches up in any way to like week-long investigation into crazy ass mathematical systems to figure out some dude like cheated on his runs because he was getting uh like five percent more drops than he should have been getting right this is like massive 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 copium and literally he's basically just going it's because she's a woman! Like, fuck off, bro. Why are you such a bitch, dude? This is in no way, shape, or form. In any... No way is this legit, right? Like, this guy's lying through his asshole right now. Lying through his teeth. And speedrunners are crazy, dude. If you go... If you make something fake, they will go... Into the guts of the game to figure out you were, you were fake if they have to. They didn't even have to do this because she's so dumb. She thought she answers a question on her third monitor. I cannot, I cannot stress this enough. She answers a question on her hidden third monitor in the middle of the stream. Game set match. All right, you're done. <laughs> like, what, what are you gonna say that that makes that better? Oh, she's getting. So much scrutiny, bro. She's not even getting 5% scrutiny that Dream did, all right? Because she's really dumb. <coughs> she's so dumb, everyone in that community immediately noticed, oh, this is fake as fuck. And then she's dumb enough to double down, right? <laughs> and dumb enough to send you into Asma's stream. Unless you did this on your own, in which case, I hope she... Punches you, right? Because you did way more harm than good. Trust me. <laughs> like, this, this, this is such copium. The copium is insane right now. CSI investigating experts that have been going to every single length, looking to even the reflections on her phone, trying to analyze what's on that screen. Welcome to the speedrun community. It's like, yeah. Why would you, why would you uh, analyze a reflection of somebody's phone? Well, it kind of looked like an OBS chat, <laughs> an OBS or a chat on a hidden monitor. That's why we looked at it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, this is, this is such copium. Like, oh, why would you look at all these sussy things? Well, because they're sus. Duh. And yet no other professional has been held to the same standard that she has been. No one's why asking everyone else to have 
Well, I think it's because of the initial conjecture that she faced when she did her first run. And she's, she is a nobody that decided to do this on a whim, and that caught the entire world uh, by storm. Sure. I understand that it's a it's a person who's a nobody. You even said it yourself. When this all started, she had 250 she had, yeah, followers. Something like that. Uh, you know, she has exploded practically overnight. She's been killing this monster for years. Mm -hmm. Decides to do something that shakes the world up, turns the world on its feet, mm -hmm. or on its head, excuse me, creates a world record practically accidentally. No, no. Well, if the world record is how to not fake a Monster Hunter uh, video, then yeah, she did that. Because, like I said, everyone immediately noticed, huh, this is literally impossible. How'd she do this? <laughs> so, guys, here's the thing, all right? Here's what happens in cases like this. People see a record or a speedrun or, or, or something, um, I don't want to say unique, but let's say extremely difficult. And then people watch that. And if you have no idea what's going on, like I did the first time, you're like, oh, this could be, this could be real. I mean, I didn't really believe it in the first time because my, my, I'm gonna be honest, my, um, I'm a pessimist and a skeptist. <laughs> right? The first, my first thing when someone tells me is like, really? <laughs> right? Is that you got some evidence of that? So <laughs> when I watched this, I was like, okay, this is impressive, but <coughs> there's no way this is real, right? That's like my default um, stance. But I don't know anything about this. It could have been real. Then we watched the Asmund Gold video. Um, he thought it was real. I'm, I was agnostic at the time. It was impressive, right? Regardless, because I think I, I, I'm not really a Monster Hunter player. Um, so if you just kill one of these monsters without dying, I'm already like slightly impressed. <laughs> you know what I mean? However, when you then <clears throat> get the actual experts to look at it and they're like, yeah, the way she's striking the head, that's impossible with a, with a blindfold on. Like, when you can't see, there's no way you can track the head like that. So they're gonna start looking for more, right? Because they're like, I've seen this run. I've done this run. <coughs> Excuse me. I know exactly how this game plays. And what she's doing, you need to be able to see. I'm now, because I have this inkling, I'm now going to, with a little bit more interest, watch this again. And I'm going to figure out how she faked it. Because we know, or in this case, my hypothetical, I know, that it's fake because I actually, you know, am immersed in the same things she is. <coughs> it's very easy. Look at, what was this show called? <coughs> Penn and Teller, right? They're like two magicians. And they had this show where other magicians could come and they could do a magic trick for them. And if Penn and Teller could not figure out how the magic trick was done just by seeing the magic trick, that's the only thing, just by seeing the magic trick. If they couldn't figure out how the magic trick was done, the magician would get money. Guess how many people got money on that show? Spoiler alert, not very many. <laughs> All right? It is really, really, really hard to fake out a professional or an expert in their field. It is, however, really, really, really easy to fake out a layman. <coughs> her mistake was she got she wanted the clout right she is muddling 250 viewers 200 uh, followers right i need more followers how do i do this if i fake a blind run that's gonna give me a lot of thing a lot of um reputation slash clout however you got it seen by asmongold and asmongold has many viewers including people in the speedrun community which then started calling you out because you're a liar and a cheat. <laughs> no press is bad press. What if she blows up? Lol. Well, no, no press is bad press is actually not true. There's definitely bad press. <clears throat> um, and she's getting it. <laughs> and how unlikely sure. and crazy that is. And, and I will argue that just because someone thinks something is improbable does not make it impossible i hear the word impossible bro this guy's like trying to obfuscate the situation it's not that it wasn't improbable is that what she was literally it was it was impossible the way she was holding on to the head the way she's striking the head and stuff a bunch of months around the world experts are saying that it's impossible i'm gonna believe them i'm gonna be honest when there's one person 
with a fantastical claim that is then waylaid, I guess I should say, by many, many more persons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to start believing the majority, right? Like, 99 experts say smoking is bad for you, but one expert says it's good for you. It's probably gonna be bad for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you know, but that's that's kind of how that goes. The burden of proof is on you, and the burden of proof that you've provided has many, many holes in it, and therefore cannot be used as a burden of proof. Not, and I'm not even mentioning the fact, all right, again, they're with a clear third monitor that you gave away multiple times, right? Being thrown around a lot, and something can be very improbable, but still possible. And when you have done something so many times and are a true expert at one particular thing, you can do a lot of things that many other people can't do. Well, she's not a blindfold person. She's not. She never has been. She's not a professional blindfolded speed runner. So then, so then again, you just gave the game away again. Because here's the thing, right? She's got four thousand plus visual kills of Alatrium. Easy. Her. One of her, um, it's not evidence, but one of her arguments was, oh, well, I've killed her four, I've killed it 4,000 plus times, and I did the exact same thing blindfolded as I did when I killed it 4,000 times. Do you think that's hard? Do you think that's not possible? Here's the thing. <clears throat> Walk through your house, right? Just one floor, from the beginning of the floor to the end of the floor. How many thousands of times have you done that? Now put a blindfold on and do it again. How easy is it? Like, the fact that she thinks I've done this over 4,000 times so I can just throw a blindfold on and do it again is insanely stupid, all right? We are very, very, very visual creatures. There's a reason it takes when something happens and somebody goes blind, there's a reason it takes like a year, right, to adapt. The guy is not suddenly daredevil, all right, just because he lost his sight. Like, I, if I lose my sight today, tomorrow I ain't daredevil, all right? I'm gonna be stumbling over shit. I'm gonna be like trying to get up the stairs, a stairs I have been walking my entire life, 38 fucking years, and I'm gonna have trouble with that. You know why? Because I can't see the fucking stairs, all right? Like, to act like <clears throat> something, <clears throat> excuse me, something that you've done a million times before with sight is still easy because you've done it a million times before without sight is the dumbest thing I have ever heard, right? And how do you she think tried. she was able to, uh, like, rebalance the camera? Because I think because that's she... been, that's one, one of the main sure. points of difference. Sure. The person who taught her how to fight that monster is one of the world's leading experts, Asriel, who has 8,700 kills on the monster and what taught her how to do it. Yeah, like, like Asmon said, this doesn't matter at all. He could have 25,000 kills. If he has 25,000 visual kills and he's going to put on a blindfold, it's going to be like a baby trying to walk again, all right? Like, the... The brain, um, <clears throat> how do I say this? The thought process of, oh, I've done it 8,000 times, so I could literally do it blindfolded is really, really dumb. Especially on something as complex as this, right? It's just not going to happen. The, like I said, try it now. <laughs> you don't even need a blindfold. Walk through your house. Once. Do it once, right? Walk through your house. And then close your eyes and take the exact same path and see how, ma how many times you, like, almost fall over or try and bump into sh or, 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 like, bump into stuff. Because you can't, feel you can't see. It doesn't matter. You walk through your house 25,000 times. We are visual creatures. We're used to seeing. When we take one of our senses away, it is a very, very jarring and confronting thing, right? Way easier things you couldn't do blindfolded. Exactly. Like, I can roll a smoke like the best of them, all right? I've been rolling cigarettes for 20 plus years. I cannot roll a smoke without seeing the smoke, all right? <laughs> like, I, I have done 
way more cigarettes. I've rolled way more cigarettes. Like, with probably multiple zeros behind 4,000, all right? I could not roll a cigarette blindfolded <laughs> properly. It's going to look like a mess. Of course, if I do it 10,000 times blindfolded, it's going to look fantastic because I got used to it, right? But to say, oh, I can go from 4,000 kills to a blindfolded kill is insanity, bro. Well, because it's, it, it teaches her how to do it. the exact. You could drive the same route on the railroad for 30 years, but you couldn't do it blindfolded, and that's on a in track. You're literally being railroaded, and it can't be done. Yeah, this... <coughs> that's, that's exactly what I'm saying, right? Like, I'm sure it could be done, right? Because there's, there's, there was a, a guy, for example, who was blind, like legally blind, um, who drove around the test, uh, the Top Gear test track back in the day when Top Gear was still a thing. Um, but obviously, they have a guy sitting next to, them, next to him telling him exactly what to do, right? So it's like... <laughs> First of all, you're gonna need some assistance or you're gonna need to have done the blindfolded thing a million times and failed 999,999 times before it actually works. To think you can go from 4,000 kills visually to a kill blindfolded instantly is that, that's batshit insane like the fact that you're bringing up this argument which is so obviously moronic already tells me you've got nothing you have no evidence to the contrary you're you're just trying to obfuscate you're just trying to play defense when you you know this was fake man come on you wouldn't bring up this dumbass argument otherwise exact same way every single time and the camera balancing is actually not that hard to do. I myself am no expert. I can't do it. But other people that have very well, similar kill if counts it's are not, able to do it. If it's not that hard to do, then why can nobody else do it in the blindfold I community? Don't, because I think it's too early. I think that this is in such well, a fledgling stage. You saying it's too early for any other game? What? Because, like, like you know, you there's, mean? for example, like, you know, like Little Aggie. Right, uh, mm -hmm. he's also a speedrunner for Sekiro. Mm -hmm. I'm sure mm -hmm. he's probably killed a lot of the bosses in Sekiro, mm -hmm. probably as many times, if not more times, than she's killed Altria. Uh, mm -hmm. And and he's using lock on. So like, well, how is sure. it that every single other person in this community is not able to rebalance their camera in any circumstance on any game? in any capacity without a lock-on but she was i'm not a blindfolded expert oh there we go oh then why the hell are you here talking bro get out of here keep the damn mouth keep the <laughs> keep the blindfold run out of your mouth's name out of your mouth and <laughs> sorry will smith <laughs> like bro Exposed, bro. Come on, so dude. I'm not sure. This is so funny. But I will, but I will say that again. I think that it's people in Monster Hunter specifically with yeah. this particular game. I think that if people had enough time to continue to try it, I think that you'd be surprised at the number of people that are able to do it. Well, that number I'm right now saying... would be zero. Yep. Well, no one. Well, that number <laughs> might. The cheater can do it. Be one. Right it now. might be one. You're right. It might be one. And and again, I'm not uh, trying to diminish the yes, likelihood of what we're witnessing and what we've seen. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to say that it's completely uh, that it that it doesn't seem absolutely astronomical. I understand the skepticism. I yes. think that it's very bro. Come on, dude. This guy is such a uh, such a simp, bro. She obviously faked it, dude. Like. Oh, she's the only one that can do it. My queen! Like, fuck off, bro. This is so cringe. Well-founded skepticism and very well-founded questioning. But, but the thing that is um, becoming increasingly frustrating is this idea that, I, I, you know, with the first run, I get why people are, are all up in arms about that, sure. So we did everything we could, and when I say me, we, I mean Queen and myself and her other moderators, and those that know her very well that helped her to get these mm -hmm. things set up so that we could do it legitimately so that we would take those questions off the table. 
Yeah, not a single, not a single question has been satisfactorily answered. Not one. <clears throat> Dude, I love this drama. I'm not gonna lie. This is it. we're gonna put this on YouTube, guaranteed. Like this is I live for this. I <laughs> mean, I enjoy this so much because it's. Here's the thing, right? It's something you can you can get annoyed about. You can get a, a little bit passionate about, and it's not that big of a deal, right? Like who cares? She faked a blindfolded run. You know what I mean? Eh. I would rather <clears throat> deepen myself in this drama than my other drama that I do, which is political of na in nature, and that like makes me actu actively depressed in the real world, bro. Like this is much more interesting. I love this shit, dude. I live for this. This is great. And, and we we did that, and then it was met with initially after you covered it everyone was over the moon it was amazing no 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 no. not everyone was over the moon a lot of people noticed the red flags immediately like for example the fact that you could li st literally straight up see through the first fight <laughs> fault she puts it on and you can literally see behind her like you could see through the if we can see through the blindfold then she can definitely see through the blind ones all right so no 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 everyone was not amazed even when you look at, go, go look at Gold's first video on this, right? You can see the chat there, and the amount of fakes in there is overwhelming, <laughs> right? It's fantastic. And <clears throat> then, unfortunately, there were people that just still weren't convinced, and then they decided to double down on the skepticism. And still, reasonably... Double down on the skepticism? What the fuck does that mean? You mean they looked into the fact that she was a fake and a fraud? I don't think that's doubling down on the skepticism. That's just exposing a fake and a fraud. <laughs> right? So, sure, that's fine. But to claim, well, oh, no, it has to be this way. It can't, it's just not possible. There's no way she can do it. But she did it. Well, I don't know, but I'm guessing this guy has like a personal relationship or wants a personal relationship. It's one of those two things because he's like coping hard, bro. <laughs> like, there's no way this is just some random moderator. Like, if it is some random moderator, I feel really sorry for the guy. But I'm guessing he has, like, a personal relationship with this chick. Because he says he saw it in- he's been in her room, right? He says he saw it live while he was there. So, I'm guessing <clears throat> if they don't have a relationship, which already means the guy is, like, suspect as fuck immediately, right? Because obviously you're gonna stick with your- <laughs> your significant other if they have a relationship. Or you're gonna stick with the person you're trying to simp for, right? <laughs> So either way, this guy is already untrustworthy as all hells on that fact alone, right? Because he's far too close to the situation at hand. Um, whereas all of the other people that were not at close to the situation at hand are like clearly pointing out that this was fake. He already said he already he already admitted that we you're you're too late for that time. Like he already said like oh should she covered up should she have covered up her third monitor? Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute, when was there a third monitor that you guys said, right? Oh, because we find out there's a third monitor. Now you're like, oh yeah, well, there was a third monitor, but I'm like, fuck off, bro. And well, she can do so, it again. So based off of that same argumentation, uh, mm -hmm. if you look at the other guy's video, um, I'm trying mm -hmm. to remember who the, uh, what, what his name was in this video, and he actually used the same controls that she did using the same blindfold. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, yes, uh, I'm Jesse, aware. yeah. So yes, that's correct. he did the exact same thing that she did. Mm -hmm. And he faked it under she, the same controls. Well, well, well hold on. She, he whoa, did not whoa, whoa, hold, 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 hold down now. Now, now, now. Hold, hold, hold down. <laughs> Bruh, this guy is giving like all of the markers of I'm full of shit. <laughs> like, is it just me? <laughs> did the exact same thing she did. How? He did use the same he, because he did use. A third monitor. He did look from his blindfold at a third monitor and completed the run with, by looking through the blindfold at that third monitor. That's correct. Queen Pones a lot did not do that. Yes, he did. Did she look at OBS she... through the third monitor? No. How do you know that? Because I know. <laughs> okay. I've seen <laughs> her do. <laughs> How do you know that? Trust me, bro. <laughs> bro. This is so asinine, man. How can you just... Does anyone believe this guy? There's nobody who believes this guy. How could you? <laughs>
Source, trust me, bro. Do this. I've seen her do this. How I would you expect anybody that. else to believe that? I, I, I welcome the skepticism, but I'm also... Clearly not. Whether... What, why I'm, hasn't I'm, she well, responded I... to it at all? Well, because she was waiting for everyone's response, including mm -hmm. the second video from Carl Jobs. And including your response. Yeah, sure. And and I, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt mm -hmm. that she can replicate it any day of the week, at any point. Under any circumstance. Well, if I'm if I'm faking it, I could probably rep I can replicate it too, right? <laughs> yeah, the whole reason is the reason she can re replicate it is because she's faking it. That's that's the point. Yeah, <clears throat> my man still didn't say anything at all yet. So what I you're saying is that if we provide, if the community provides a set of framework and constraints, in that case, she would be able to replicate the exact same thing. Absolutely. Okay. Here's here's here. May I? Here's what we need to do now. Somebody figure out. Get get in contact with the screen booms a lot, right? <clears throat> Asmund, do Asmund. Rent a hotel room. Put a setup in there. Let her do it. If she can do it there, all of this goes away. It's that simple. Do it in a public setting. Not in your own home, not in your own room, where everything you control, right? For example, my room is a mess, and there's a reason the camera is looking this way, all right? <laughs> Look, okay? <laughs> I'm just pointing that out, right? And there's no way in hell I'll ever show you the rest of my room, because it's a mess. <laughs> so, here's the thing. You get her in a public setting, on a public setup, and then let her do it again. And let's see what happens. I have an English suspicion she's gonna get smashed. May I offer a suggestion and you tell me if you think it's fair? Sure. I think I think that she could cover all three of her monitors. Not good enough. She did on her stream. She could show Discord so that she isn't accused of someone being in the Discord call. Not good enough. Directions. Public setting. She could show her task manager to ensure that there are no other programs. Or Not good enough. Public setting. Running. She could show her download and installation folder for Monster Hunter to show that there are no auto-aim programs or damage modifications or anything else. And then she could do it again live. On stream. Public um, setting. Be, and, and, and Referees in the room. Or two cameras depicting all of her monitors that nothing else is being shown. I think that there probably have there to no be. Like, I, I mean, at this point, I'd, I'd really have to think about it. Yeah, because it's something that's like very complex, and this it's, is something. It's that's not kind that complex. Public setup. So I'd have to really think about how many controls you would need. <clears throat> but I think that one thing that you would clearly need is that you would need a camera behind her, and sure, uh, I, I, I would have to say that yeah, probably a full room camera to actually look at what she's looking at, and then also why wouldn't she just turn the monitors off? That interferes with her stream interface. It doesn't. So when she turns the monitor off, it changes her windows around. It can be very discombobulating on stream. It doesn't. As you nope. mentioned even in your video, nope. she's not a huge streamer. I'm not a huge streamer. As someone who's been using OBS for 10 years, turning your monitor off does jack shit to OBS. It's, it's not something that she... I am, however, in IT. So I have professionally a little bit more to say about this. Turning your monitor off does not fuck with your stream setup, ever. How would turning the monitor off affect it? I, well, I don't, I don't personally know because I'm not... No, because you're lying through your ass and you just threw something out there. Like, obviously, you have no idea what you're talking about. But you've turned... You've just stepped into my territory, my friend. Okay? And I can tell you, you're lying. Just sitting there messing with her setup. But I, I, from what she told me, the reason why she didn't want to turn her monitors off for the second run was because it would interfere with her stream. Yeah, that's a lie. And that's why she chose to cover them. I can't Again, really, the... uh, I I can't really say, like whether that's true or not. But I can after using OBS it's not true. for many years. I cannot think of a single instance where turning off a monitor will affect the inputs and the OBS read of that monitor. Mm -hmm. That's fine. OBS yeah. was not on her third monitor. It was not on her monitor that she uses for chat. Bum. Really. Bum. Um, so she does have a third monitor for the third time you've said that now.
thanks. Thanks for thanks for giving the verbatim proof that she was cheating, in fact. <laughs> like this guy is dumb as bricks, bro. So like how he actually came onto here to try and defend her, right? And all he's done is make her look even more guilty. How would you explain, like, for example, the the uh the button presses? The ten second button <laughs> presses that are then moving to the right. I don't know what she was moving. That's another thing, dude. Like, why would you... Okay, here's the thing, right? If you're trying to fake something in a... In a proper manner, right? You're trying to... You're working hard to portray something that is not real. It actually takes a lot of work. And in some cases, it takes more work than actually doing the thing unfaked. Now, here's the thing. I lost the track of... I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I'm not going five freaking back. Sorry. Right. I don't know what she was moving. At that right. Point. Sorry. No. <clears throat> you have to have... You have to look at a lot of things. And you have to be mindful of a lot of things that would show that you are faking it. One of that would be turning your input thing on before you're ready so everyone can see the inputs you're making when you're not even in the game yet. That's probably a really dumb thing to do. So she can't even fake anything correctly, right? Why would you not have turned that on after going into the game? Before, no, you, you obviously, you, you left it on, then you obviously, right, do to all the key presses and... and you could see her click hold the mouse for 10 seconds and then you could see the thing go here because she's dragging it that way. Like, why would you have this on? Like, she's not even a good faker. She's dumb as bricks, bro. <laughs> like, she, she talked to somebody that had a question on her, that, that gave her a question in her chat that she couldn't see unless she was talking on a third monitor. After she won, she's literally looking and answering questions on said third monitor. She leaves her input shit on before even going into the game while she's still setting up for her fake speed, right? Like, bro, this is dumb as bricks, bro. Like, holy shit, these are all giant red flags. Like, <laughs> this is so stupid. And all of these red flags could have easily been avoided by not being a moron. Point. Well, whenever she was... Well, like, sure. whenever she was setting it up, she mm -hmm. was moving the mouse and i'm not sure like i'd have to go back to like the initial video but you can see the trajectory because she does have a <coughs> mouse tracker along with the trajectory of the mouse so dumb. And you can see that she's holding down the mouse button and then moving and dragging a uh a window around like this uh, correct right right i I, sure. I know i understand what she's been accused of i i understand that and i don't know what bro a million views <laughs> When Holy she shit. was moving into where but imagine imagine being exposed to so many people as a fraud and a fake dude i'd be mortified i understand why she hasn't said anything <laughs> like i really do i'd be mortified bro i mean i wouldn't do i wouldn't fake it in the first place but you know if i did i'd be mortified she did not move it to her third gen chat monitor and view or excuse me she did not move obs to her chat monitor and look through her blindfold to watch obs complete her run mm -hmm. and how do you know that i've seen her do it did you see her? she doesn't need it well no so I she wasn't doesn't in the room. so so yeah you didn't you did well what you're all of these guys arguments boil down to trust me bro <laughs> like what you're saying is like you didn't see this one so but dumb. It th would not make logical sense to you that she would fake this one whenever she did other ones with watching you or with you watching her, and it was the same thing. That's correct. Okay. And and again, if if we want to put the that particular argument to rest, would it use be, the force loop along that logic to say, well, if she covered all of her monitors so that there's nothing that can be seen at all. Then would you agree that that would be consistent enough if she no, can perform? No, I the same would want I would want her to show me what the problem is with OBS and why she can't turn the monitor off. Yep, for starters. Okay, is it is it this? Because that's a problem ain't nobody heard before, <laughs> right? And a lot of people stream, all right. 
So the fact that you can even like say something like this is just so sussy, man. Oh yeah, it's because of XYZ. Wait a minute, but there's like a million streamers and XYZ hasn't happened to any of them. Is turning the monitor off the same thing as covering it? No. Is that not sufficient? No, you have to turn it off. Okay. My my question is why? That, I mean, that's fine. I, I, I'm just curious. I'm, again, because I'm it not removes a, a variable. Not... Okay. It's very simple. Uh, it removes the okay. variable of uh, potentially being able to see through uh, what the pictures are. <clears throat> also, here's another thing. I want to make 100% sure there's no phone between her legs. If you can see through the thing of your nose, that means you can see straight down. So I could be looking at my phone. Oh, hey, I can see the game. Look, guys, my monitors are off. Don't pay attention to the, to the phone between my legs that is set to my OBS. But, you know, don't, don't pay attention to that. Like, it's a smartphone. I can <clears throat> hook up your smartphone. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hook up your smartphone to your, um, to your computer. You can literally use it as a monitor. Many people don't even know that, but yeah, <laughs> like. And if it's okay. just simply removed, it would be gone. Okay, <coughs> that's fair. Sure. Um, I now, have let, to, I, let's, Yeah, go ahead. I'm just gonna uh, let's say she does these things. I mean, the 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 one of the re other reasons why she hasn't responded, and we've been talking about this throughout the week as we awaited Carl's video, is there's this idea, as you're aware of, is moving the goalposts. Right, it, it, you know that, that like we mentioned before, and like she mentioned, and like you even mentioned, that if if someone doesn't want to admit they're wrong, they'll look for any reason they can to continually shift. Kind of like what this guy is doing in the last um, what is this twenty minutes? The blame, or to come up with some other actually not kind of exactly what this guy is doing. <laughs> use or some other reason sure. as to why they suspect that she's cheating. So my, the reason why she hasn't responded is this idea that, well, even if she does it under all of these, these stringent... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Nothing is good enough. Nothing will be good enough for you guys, so I'm not going to do it. Okay. 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 Specifications and all of the things that everybody's mentioning to her, and it takes all the advice of so all the cringe. professionals and all the experts and whoever else questions it, and then she does it again. Well, then what are they going to come up with? I mean, this this person did something. Well, that find out. Should have been in a way. Do it properly and find and out. She's been abused, harassed, threatened. It's not been fun for her. That would be like saying to me, like, I don't want to stream tonight because I know I'm only gonna get five viewers and I want fifty. So, so stream and get the fifty. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, what is this argument, bro? Dumb as bricks, dude. Yeah, um, I get that. And so I, I think in terms of moving the goalposts, like what my goalposts would be, frankly, don't really matter. And so like I don't want to set up a group of parameters because I think that if anything, the one thing that the Carl video showed me is that it showed me that I don't know what I don't know. And if I was ever going to set a group of parameters for this, I would consult with people that know a lot more about it than I do. Because at this point, I'm, I don't, I'm not confident in my ability to fully assess the situation in an accurate way. And That's I why I say I blanket statement. Do it publicly with people that are watching you. Like, and I don't mean, I mean publicly in real life. It has made me certain of that, of that reality. And I, I don't, I'm not, I don't feel bad about that or anything. It's just that you have to know what you don't know. Of course, and, um, under, understood. And, so I have part to talk that, to these and, other people and figure that out yeah, myself. And, and, I, and I agree with you. In a way, too, mm -hmm. the same thing happened to her. She did her initial blindfolded run on a whim on stream with no particular... The initial one was clearly fake, by the way. You could, I mean, come on, you could literally see through her blindfold, bro. Come on, dude. How... The fact that you... He's still... <clears throat> he's trying to defend the first one as well? Bro, the first one was so fake, man. The second one at least had like a little bit of thought behind it, but then she was so dumb that she like gave it away multiple times, right? But the first one, we could see through the blindfold, bro. What are you saying, dude? Uh, set of guidelines. She didn't know what she didn't know either. So she reached out to a, a, a credible expert who was a world record holder in that community and, and followed the exact specifications that he set out. Well, what, and, what is his opinion of this? I've spoken with Mitch Riz, and he is on the fence, admittedly, 
And one of the things that he mentioned in his initial message, this is why she actually didn't cover up her monitors at first when she was thinking about setting yeah, it up. Yeah, sure. He flat out he flat out said, if you if you have a proper blindfold on your face, it wouldn't matter if the monitor's in front of your face. Whoa. And so she actually con kept the monitors blocked with any game put information input information on it as an added proof. Except for the third exactly. hidden monitor that she didn't block because we could see the reflection in it. To remove that variable. I would want to see why the uh what the OBS problem is. That's a big one, right? I and I like I like that he comes back to it because ain't nobody got that problem, bro. <laughs> and it's so fucking sus. I want okay. to see uh, what that I, I, OBS I problem is yeah. because I don't I, believe that. Like I've streamed for many years, I've set up many streams. Mm -hmm. Yep. I cannot think of a single instance nope. in which OBS would not be running. Like, uh, for example, right? Um, I'm gonna turn off my monitor right now. Oh, look, OBS, uh, nothing is the changed. Still on, guys. No, I don't. If I if I understand her her issue correctly, and again, I yeah. don't know exactly yes. what she means. <laughs> But I don't think that it's that it turns the stream off, but rather her windows and themselves, because of the display settings on her various monitors, shift all of them around. And it's in, in, a, in a high stress situation on stream, live in front of a couple hundred people, which is a large audience for her. Sure. That that, that can get very stressful and under pressure. She didn't want to have to do all of that amidst the run when the world was watching. Bro. And so she Ain't no way, dude. This is such this is such copium. Ain't no way. I wouldn't even know how, bro. Unless you do, even even when you do display capture, dude. If I turn the monitor off, the display is still captured. It's not because the monitor is off that the 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 data is still not going through to it. Like this is so stupid. This guy has no idea about monitors, computers whatsoever. Like, zero. This does not happen. All right. If I turn the monitor off, the only thing I did is turn the monitor off. The monitor is an output device. It gets <clears throat> streams of data from the computer and then displays that as an output so we can do stuff. When I turn the monitor off, that output is still there, bro. Like, this is so stupid. She thought, well... It, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm getting, I'm getting annoyed because we're, we're sliding into my territory now. The stuff I know stuff about, all right? And this is... This is pissing me off because this is just flat out lies. For them, and I can't see through the paper, and I have a blindfold on, and this blindfold expert world record holder says I don't even need to cover them if I'm wearing the blindfold. Then that's just an added proof, an added check, an added Bro, variable that I, I want to know what this other guy is thinking because they're massively, massively banking on this guy's name. They're using his reputation to justify her fake speedrun. That is crazy, bro. That is crazy. That I can take away. Did you to did prove she that print out the paper on stream? Did she print the paper on stream? Yeah. Uh no, they were purchased ahead of time. So you're saying that whenever she made the constraints for it, she wasn't under that pressure? I'm sorry, I don't understand what you what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> That was a really good question. That was a really good question. So the implication was that the reason why she didn't turn off the monitors and fix this issue oh. was because she uh, was actually. Trend. If I, I'm sorry, I just got a message from Mitriz. He's actually watching right now. He's the world record holder. He would like to know if you'd want his opinion you in, included. Uh, I'd be happy to. Yeah. Nice. What's up, bro? Yo, I I pause Andy super hard. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you good. Okay, um, so you said- I just saw a text message appear. That literally what I said, right? Where is it? Let's see if uh, I can- I'd be happy to. Hang on. Hey, what's up, bro? Hello? Yo, can you hear me? Yeah. I can hear you good. His credibility is on the line. Hope he doesn't drop the ball. Okay, um, so you said yes. you were watching. Uh, what do you think? I mean, I, I I just joined like two minutes ago. But, well, you probably uh, saw the video, though, right? Oh yeah, I saw the yeah. video. Yeah. What's your uh, What's your thoughts? Uh, uh, so I'm I'm just a hundred percent on the side of you know evidence, letting people prove things, you know things coming to where they are, not leaving anything on belief, and uh, 
the evidence right now, I think, and I've told Dapper this, I think the evidence right now points pretty uh, strongly in the way of not meeting, uh, I would say, the proof that would be needed for blindfolded. Um, you know, I'm trying not to... Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> That is not what that other guy thought he was gonna hear. Like, put it too harshly, but if you uh, were that's, to create that's a I'm person. I don't want to put it too harshly. <laughs> okay, sorry, because I I, I skip through it. Let's go. Let's 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 listen to it in full again. Sorry. Pretty, uh, strongly in the way of not meeting. Uh, I would say the proof that would be needed for blindfolded. Um, you know, I'm trying not to like. Put it too harshly, but if you uh, were that's, to create that's a percentage right of like the likelihood based off of the evidence that's been, pre been presented to you, uh, that it was real after seeing the Carl video, <laughs> where would you put that percentage that it was real? Uh, I'd put it in the very low percent, uh, not zero because I can never give you can 100 never percent give certainty any, of yeah. anything. How about 99? Yeah, but, uh, <sighs> Uh, 97? maybe I, I could probably go 97 on that. <laughs> yeah, that's about <laughs> Bro, this got so much better than I thought it would do it to you. 97% fake. <laughs> Ouch. All right. Okay. And as moment so that sounds about basically right. Basically gave her some insight into So you Man, this is boss. savage. You've this is not going the way Simp wanted it to go, bro. Killed Altrion. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, sorry. No, I have not killed the boss. I'm an expert on blindfolded in other games. Okay. My main game is uh, Sekiro that I've done blindfolded. Okay. So what makes you, <clears throat> beyond the information that you saw provided in the videos, what makes you an, like, what, what makes you think that it's so low percentage that it's real? Is there anything uh, that, like, for example, like Carl didn't have in his video where I haven't caught? Uh, there, there is uh, a couple of things. Yeah, so, right. Well, the screenshot. I mean, the, the biggest thing is the camera. Is from the get go, that was not in Carl's video. Of course. So, okay, if you watch Carl Jobs' video, which I highly recommend you guys do, right? One thing that's not in there that we've already talked about, and we've seen a little bit of a screenshot on it because I think it started in there. Um, is she's holding up a camera, and you can see the reflection of the third monitor in her fucking in her in her camera. <laughs> like, oh my god, dude, that's not in the Carl Jobs video because that was only found a day or so later by some guy on 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 uh, on Twitter. Um, I reposted that, so let's see. <clears throat> oh damn. Um, profile replies. Actually, no, it's on posts then, right? Yeah, boom. So, yeah, only a day after was this spotted by some guy on Twitter, uh, where you can like see her her reflection in of the third monitor in the phone uh screen. This was uh humanly impossible i think is a good way to put it where it's not impossible impossible it's just humanly impossible as in we've never ever seen anybody throughout any game not monster hunter not sekiro not elden ring not so so you know, you're confirming, any other game because that's what i said too is that i've never seen somebody in a blindfolded run not run around randomly not knowing what their camera is because so you play sekiro yeah. sekiro has a lockdown uh, would you yes. be able to complete a Sekiro blindfold run without lock-on? For the bosses, I'm trying to think if there's any that I could. <laughs> well, there's one, but we use a, a cheese. We kind of stick him in the corner. Uh, but for legitimately fighting, running around, trying to find them, there's only one boss that we do that occasionally because the lock-on just breaks in the game. It's mm -hmm. a little wonky. Um, and basically the goal is just to get the lock on back as fast as possible so i would basically say no if i if the lock on breaks and i was never able to get it back i don't think i could okay I, I and this is like their own world renowned expert that is just destroying their case right now <laughs> this is so funny bro
hold it at all. And how many times dude, do you think you've killed? Dude, I, I live for this drama, bro. This drama is like, I know it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter in the slightest. It's just fun, bro. <laughs> like, to think, to think you, you'd have the balls to try and get one over on the speedrun community is insane, insane to me, dude. Again, I keep coming back to the dream investigation, bro. They went so hard into this game, man. They addressing bias, accounting for optional stopping, sampling bias in stream selection, sampling bias in runner selection, like code analysis. They went into the guts of the game to prove that this guy was cheating, bro. Like this is these people are crazy in a good way, right? They're neurotic in a good way. Like you will not <clears throat> ever get one on. Well, that's not true. There's a bunch of people that got one over on them, but years later, they still got they still got a con. They still got exposed because even years later, there's people that are like, I don't buy this. And I've been doing, I've been doing research for months and I finally found why and how he did it. Like, you know what I mean? Like this turns into an obsession for these guys, right? Like, not the community you want to F with. Are you talking about Kenichiro, how you get him in the corner and you hit him with the left side of the sword? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's okay. the one that we we stick him in the corner. The one that yeah. I was talking about where we can br is sometimes the lock on <coughs> breaks is uh, Gyobu. Um, sometimes he just runs too far away and the, oh, the lock on yeah. just goes away. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so how many times have you killed those bosses? <coughs> Put a number. Uh, Sorry. At least thousands. At, least at, thousands. at the very least, thousands. So, and that's individual boss. You're saying you've killed each boss thousands of times, or you've collectively killed all the bosses thousands of times? Uh, both. I mean, okay. uh, in terms wow. of, I can bring up my live split and tell you my <laughs> attempt counter for speed yeah, runs. Yeah, 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 sure. Let me, let me, let me grab that. It's not going to be 100 percent accurate because sometimes splits get reset and split across different categories. But using another computer, maybe yeah, I have no idea. Uh, I don't remember if I ever did another computer. Yeah, Sekiro is four. crazy hard without a blindfold, dude. I was, like, literally thinking about that, too. I Sorry, I saw that in the chat. Bye -bye. Like, <clears throat> this guy does Sekiro blindfolded. Sekiro. What the hell, bro? Like, I can't even... I can't even play that game not blindfolded, right? I get smashed. I, I, oh, that game rages me. <laughs> like, I can't even do it not blindfolded. And this guy is, like, blindfolded. Oh, I killed the boss thousands of times. And I'm like... Bro, I suck. <laughs> I suck so bad. Holy hell. Specifically any percent. I have an attempt count of 6,292. 6,292. That's a lot. Okay, so logically yes. you would assume that... And those are blindfolded runs? No, those are not blindfolded. Okay, uh, just... Let me check blindfolded splits. May I interrupt uh, and ask a question while we're waiting? Go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, this the mold. I guess the question that I wanted to ask in the long run is if you could set a set of standards that we all could agree on and she could repeat it. Would the it only way that I could do that would be if I was able to have somebody watching it in real life. Yep. Uh, I don't think there would be any way at this point because there's too much uncertainty. I think that you can control for almost any variable. So, like, uh, 30 minutes later, he arrives at my conclusion. Do it publicly. <laughs> Unless everybody else was in a consensus about this, uh, about creating certain controls that people were, were certain about, uh, you would need to have somebody there actually watching it themselves. And then also that person would need to have a degree of competency beyond a layman, such as myself. Yep. So I think that that's and, probably uh, I the have bottom offered line. To do that. Okay. I have offered to do that as a, uh, a me and Dapper have, uh, I don't know if this is a leak, sorry Dapper, but uh, we've talked about the, the potential to, uh, to have. Bro, this goes on for another hour. I'm, I'm going to wrap it up soon because I am not watching this for another, for another hour. Like, I already have 80 minutes of footage. The YouTube video is going to be murder on this, alright? <laughs> Holy hell. Have that happen. I would, I would be happy to, to see it and have my, my mind change. I might be one of the only people left that in the blindfolded community that has a, you know, percentage that <clears throat> isn't basically 100. Um, but yeah, for blindfolded attempts, I found it, I've done 160. Bro, that's, that's kind of crazy as well, right? He's, he literally just says like, yeah, I'm 97% sure she faked it. 
So he's three percent, right? He said I, he said ninety seven. He said it himself. Ninety seven percent sure. Ninety seven percent she faked it, and he just said, "Yeah, I'm probably the only one that's at ninety seven percent. Everyone else is at a hundred. Nail, coffin, <laughs> right? Blindfolded uh, runs to get my current PB of an hour thirty three. It's a long run, so I, it's hard. Sure. To get that okay, so you had done more runs than she had for all a tray on that were blindfolded, because whenever yes. she initially was talking about how many attempts did it take her to kill the boss blindfolded. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Dapper, but I'm fairly certain you said that, or she said that it was under 20 and potentially even under 10. At I remember in of... one of her videos, she said half a dozen. Yeah, at the first attempt. Okay, at the, at so the time six. The first attempts. That's, that's, that's so, correct. So there were six attempts, and so... After... Bro, imagine. Imagine being so... <clears throat> stupid to think you could do a blindfolded run after, like, only trying six times. I, again, I keep coming back to this example. Walk through your house, then do it again, the exact same route, blindfolded. It's gonna take it's gonna take you more than six times to do that confidently. You know, you're gonna be like, oh, holy fucking shit, and you're gonna do this, and you're gonna do this because it's here's the thing. It's really, 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 really hard to keep track of where you're going when you cannot see anything. This is the reason sandstorms, blizzards, like all of the heavy weather that will shut your side off gets people lost and they die because of it. All right? This is literally like a real world thing. You have to... If you're going through a blizzard and you cannot see anything, there is a insane likelihood that you will get lost. You know why? Because you can't see anything and we're not used to that. So, if you're telling me, I didn't even know it was only like six attempts. That's even sussier. Mm, there is no way, bro. There is no way. Every fiber in my bone, every fiber in my body is telling me like this is, this is just straight up lies and copium, bro. Only six attempts? I don't give a fuck how many times you've killed a Latrian when you could see him. That is not even remotely the same as when you cannot see anything, all right? That is horse doo-doo. Her, her second run, she took six attempts to perform this on stream. Yeah, okay. So, well, what correct. about the first run, whenever she did it blindfolded the first time? I she don't know just how many that. times she practiced beforehand. But, but it, was a, it was a handful, was, though, right? It, it was a handful on stream yeah. and probably about maybe a dozen, maybe two dozen off stream. Right, okay, so practicing, definitely practicing, a lot. Pra practicing with a friend, directing her in with a hunting horn, moving around the map, who was not blindfolded. Completely different set of circumstances. Yeah, it was definitely. Not intent it, was, it was not intended to be a solo run. It was supposed to be uh, an on-stream, carefree, fun thing with a friend, working with her in the hunt. Completely different apples to oranges comparison. Sure. Um, yeah, I understand that. So... It does seem to me that it is very uncertain that, like, for example, uh, I'm trying to think if there's another boss in Sekiro that I can use as an example. Um, how about Giobu? Could you do Giobu blindfolded without lock-on at all? Um... Be because the majority of the attempts... And if you could, mm. how sloppy would it be? Oh, it would be it would be very sloppy. I can guarantee it would be sloppy. Um, the main thing for fighting anything in Sekiro is that you have to be looking at them. Otherwise, the deflect just doesn't function. They'll just hit you from behind. Um, yeah, and you can't I, yeah, I played and beat the game, I know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, so... <laughs> what the... I'm sorry, but this was Asmund tooting his own, his own horn. There it is. Yeah. I beat the game. I know. <laughs> like, all right, bro. All right. That would be the hardest part of it. <laughs> um, in terms of generally keeping him somewhat in front of you, that's possible. Um, I don't think the viewers would have a good experience because every time that uh, I do that, if I can't use lock-on to center my camera vertically, every single time I end up staring at the floor or staring at up into the sky. I, I yep. can never keep the camera. This was something that shows um, that was... Um, 
one of the points <clears throat> in Carl Jobs' video as well. Again, if you haven't watched it yet, go watch it. It's really, it's really good. In the middle at all. And this is with a but boss I that think you... It could be possible. But this is with a boss that you... I mean, I'm assuming out of 160 attempts, you probably got to Gyobo at least half of the time, right? If not, pretty much all the time. Pretty much all the time. Uh, yeah. Most of the attempts ended up dying at Guardian Ape, which is the second to the last boss. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... And and you think that you would have massive camera issues even after I would assume like a hundred and fifty maybe even almost attempts at Gyobu. Mm -hmm. uh, that's like that's the guy. By the way, guys, that's the guy. That's the guy on the horse, and he's like, my name is like that's that guy. He's like very very early in the game. Uh, also, mm -hmm. much much easier to kill than Alatreon. Certainly, he's he's not that hard of a boss to be honest. No, uh, no. Even even blindfolded, if you have lock on, you can basically just block all of his attacks. Just stand there blocking, and he mm -hmm. can't really hit you. Okay, yeah, I guess so. And so you think that the chances of her doing that legitimately, especially after seeing the camera move up and down, are just like so astronomically no, so astronomically low that it is approaching things that are just not humanly possible. Yes, I think that's that's absolutely the. Nail coffin. <laughs> like, this is this is brutal, bro. This is brutal. I don't think this is how this admin thought he was. This was gonna go when he was like, "Oh, the guy is watching. You want me to bring him in?" <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that, my friends. Yikes. The the first easiest sort of clearest way to know. Yeah. Of course, there's obviously the other stuff. Other than that, the first <laughs> blindfold being. I'm sorry, bro. This is just. I can't. I can't. I can't stress enough how funny I think this is, bro. This is. <laughs> I enjoy this stuff. I know. I know. I get a lot of comments on YouTube of like, oh, you just look at this old man, one caring about what. I don't really care, bro. I just think it's hilarious, man. This is like a good, a good waste of my time, dude. <laughs> I think this is absolutely and utterly humorous. <laughs> like, come on. How can you not, bro? has to be folded to not be transparent. The, so good. Yeah, second attempt, there is clearly a third monitor that is clearly on and has something on it and is clearly hidden intentionally from camera to the direct uh, counter to what I told her specifically because she contacted me and I specifically said, hey, if you want to set up a, another camera, here's how you do it. You show all your monitors. You... Because if you didn't show a monitor, somebody could cheat like that. So, so maybe duh. Told her <laughs> to show all the like this. monitors. Uh, I don't think I specifically stated in exact words, show all your monitors. But what I did say, and actually... It's probably it show the, your monitor. Like have quote. a camera that shows your monitor, right? Something like that. It was... I can give you the exact Whoa. Always keep receipts, guys. ...that display any game information or anything related to stream are her front monitor and left-hand monitor. Well, her that's not true because the information just, oh. related to the stream would be her chat. Well, it's chatty. Which is related to her stream. The, 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 <laughs> the, 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 the <laughs> bro, come on, dude. This is the best drama we've had in weeks, bro. This is so good, dude. Chatty, but it doesn't display game information. It doesn't display any any game. But you can say that. <laughs> we can we can verify that, can we? Because she hit it. Screen. Okay. This is so dumb, dude. Um, okay. So what yeah, I, what I said exactly is, <clears throat> if you only show that the monitors in front of you are turned off, then it's always possible to have a monitor that isn't shown on the camera, unless you set up like ten cameras to capture every inch of the room. So that's. That is what I said. I specifically mentioned you need to... <laughs> it sounds like <clears throat> she used this guy's tips to learn how to cheat the actual <laughs> fucking fake run, dude. That's like, that's probably the moment where she was like, oh, but I do have a third monitor. Mm. <laughs> like... I guess I didn't say you need to show this, but I said if you don't show all of them, it's always possible to have one off screen that isn't shown. That is what I said. So why do you think that she didn't cover the third monitor? Dapper. She has her chat. She had her chat information on her third monitor. So what does it matter? You're wearing a blindfold.
Why not show the third monitor and cover it up then? Because you're wearing a blindfold, you can't see it. <laughs> so dumb. So the wait a second. Was, so the logic is sure. that she didn't show the monitor because the monitor wasn't relevant. Is that correct? For that's that's point one. The, the monitor itself was not relevant. <laughs> and the second thing is, Bro. she only had access to one additional camera. And in order to display her hands and mouse and the other monitors that would have had game information on it she wouldn't be able to display everything all in one setting. Bro, that's already massive horse doo-doo. Because look at... I'm kind of in front of it, but look at how much of her second monitor is on here. If you tilt the camera so that the end of the frame is here, if there's a third monitor here, we can clearly see it. And then we can still see your hands, and we can still see your mouse. So this guy's li li lying through his teeth with literal evidence on screen. Well, of course she could. Couldn't she just turn the camera a little bit more to the right and then have all three of the monitors within view? Because not I pause, Andy. Sorry. Not the way that her monitors are set up on her desk. No, we both tried to do that. We tried to arrange it so. This sounds it again control. copium. And it was one of it was a situation where you could either only see one or not the other, and it, it, we could get the most information that people would want to see mm -hmm. and have questions about with the camera angle that was chosen. Uh, okay, so if that's the case and she didn't think that monitor would be relevant to the conversation and it was okay that she had that monitor uncovered, then why didn't she read chat at the beginning whenever that person said that they were going to make up another lie? So what ended up happening was that and that, that's why I wanted to ask you this question, is that mm -hmm. if you're saying that she, she didn't do it because she didn't think the monitor would be relevant, and if mm -hmm. she didn't think the third monitor would be problematic, then why was she pretending to read it off of the sheet of paper rather than reading it off of the chat on the third monitor? I don't know. I'm, I wasn't there to ask her that question myself. <laughs> If you were me, why would you think that would be? If, I'm sorry? If you were me in mm -hmm. this situation this is, mm -hmm. and you saw that happen, Bro, this is speak what would you think? Uh, right. I, I, I think I can understand what you're in, at least implying or insinuating. Yes. You are, you're, you're, you're insinuating that... That with the present she... amount of information, it's obvious that she sure. was trying to make people believe that she only had two monitors because oh, if yeah. she wasn't, she would have covered it. And if she thought that having the third monitor be there in the first place was okay, she wouldn't have tried to hide and oh, stop yeah. herself mid-sentence and then read it off of the second monitor again if she was okay that the chat was there on the third monitor. And if she knew that the third monitor was compromising her, then she would have never looked on the second monitor. Oh, yeah. And if she knew that... Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. She she was ne I don't think that she was ever trying to hide the presence. Oh, she of was definitely trying to hide it at all. Period. Okay. I don't think that she was trying. That was to very obvious. Anything. I don't. I, it really was, in my opinion, or at least I would think her opinion, a non-issue. If it was like, a like, non-issue, like, then she wouldn't why, have given it. Th then why did she try to? Why did she look under the paper for the second monitor? She said, "I forgot what you said," and then she turned around and tried to look in the under the paper for the second monitor why would you logically do that like you know for example it's like if you have one monitor and it's running chat and you have another monitor with the sheet over it and it's mm -hmm. also running chat and you're reading off of the third mon the, the, th the third monitor and then you you stop yourself you're like wait what did you say again and then you pull up the sheet of paper to look on the second monitor It doesn't logically make sense. And also, I think that there is proof that she had OBS on the third monitor. And I think the proof for that is the fact that after she pulled up the blindfold, she moved her hair back as she looked towards the third monitor. I've never seen a person do that when they're not looking in the mirror. Have you? No, but I don't think <laughs> that's what happened. 
and and again my my question for, so i'm actually i'm getting a message from her she is trying to answer your questions apparently there bring her on ch the chatty doesn't show such as flagged messages or flagged content mm -hmm. the chatty does not show i'm pretty sure it wasn't flagged content because the person had a uh they're they're a subscriber so it wouldn't have been flagged they're because every... see, like, if they're subscriber and vip <laughs> Let me find. I'm trying to find it so I can actually show the actual. Where is this in this thing? Here we go. I found it. She realizes how stupid this is and stops talking, but stare at it constantly. She even responds to this exact message in chat while looking at it. However, mid sentence, she realizes how stupid this is and stops talking. And she's reading chat. Notice the way she's looking, right? Her monitors are covered. Looking. Boom. She is looking in that direction, which on this camera is this direction. <clears throat> I'm over it. Um, fuck. Ugh. Right? Notice she's looking at me and she's looking away from me here, right? Her screens are covered. This is a third hidden monitor right there. She now looks at the chat. Oh yeah. And fixes her hair, right? And then starts responding to the question. Everything everything will be unedited. Oops. Oh, oh shit. I fucked up. Oops. After panicking and thinking for 10 seconds, she tries to fix this mistake and pretends she read the message from the monitor on the left. Oh yeah, everything, everything will be unedited. Oh, I never gave this attention. Go subscribe to Coral Yops, by the way. What was the last thing you said? Unedited. <laughs> the funny thing about Queen Pongelot reading chat from her hidden monitor is that it's completely unnecessary. There is no need to have chat there in the first place, and it just causes her to constantly look at it, making it obvious it's there. And it also causes her to screw up by responding to it. I'm guessing she just couldn't help herself, and she really wanted to see all of her fans talking about her as she was playing. Bro, she's so dumb, dude. It's like, she's so dumb, bro. That's like... She gave it away herself a bunch of times, dude. Like, that's so stupid, dude. But, as you can tell by the smile on my face, it's the best content in so long, bro. I love this shit, dude. This is so hilarious, bro. Subscriber or a, uh, a subscriber right there. I'm assuming the crown is because they were um, subscribed. Uh, it wouldn't have flagged their message. And also, if the message was flagged, then uh carl wouldn't have been able to see it yeah because it wouldn't have shown in the chat replay so he would have never had access to this information unless it was displayed naturally on stream yep yeah i'm i'm sorry i i wasn't there so i'm not entirely sure <laughs> yeah well you weren't there for any of it but you're still defending her right so all of a sudden oh well this is this is far too damaging so i wasn't there i can't say anything about it but you're saying a hell of a lot about the rest of it even though you weren't there either right <laughs> these people are just the copium is like so hard. Yeah, sure. I, again, I mean, I like, it's, it's I'm, not I'm, your stream. I, I'm relying, I, yeah, I'm I get relying it. a lot of past information, and it's it's difficult for me to answer questions about what's going on at that particular moment. Of course, you know, and 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 as a person, again, I'm I'm trying to look at this from a bird's eye view here because, again, you, as I'm going, you are a true professional. Well, not a, not a, not at speed running these games and being able no, to tell that no. they're they're fake. I I I don't know that. I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like up to the host a little though. And, oh, and yeah. so whenever whenever a person who is has been streaming, in her case, for uh, 10 to 30 to 70 viewers, she just got partner literally a week and a half before this all happened, and all of a sudden her stream explodes and the world comes after her saying that everything she did in this thing is fake. For the very first time, she gets international attention in front of uh, a large audience. Yeah, it of sucks. Viewers, Shouldn't have changed. Overnight, <laughs> practically explodes, <laughs> and then it's expected to perform a world record yet again under extremely stringent specifications while the entire world is watching. Yeah, because the first world record was clearly fake. If I can see through the blindfold, 
then she can definitely see through the blindfold. I ain't even in the same zip code. I ain't even in the same country. There's a massive ocean between us, and I could see through this through the blindfold. Understandable for someone to get a little flustered. And I'm not saying that just, <clears throat> oh, you know, okay, so she's flustered, so all this stuff just goes out the window. But what I'm asking you is to give her the opportunity to prove that she can do it under any specifications that any expert out there would recommend. That's a good point. Give her, give, give her a chance to prove that she can do what, yeah. you, what she, Publicly. she can do. If you want to throw the gauntlet down, I'm sure that there are people who can come up with constraints that will make sense out of it. Absolutely. Have a professional I, referee. I ask, Boom. I will <laughs> so very gracious. You, you said, and by you professional, said, I mean someone the argument. What's the problem? professional in MHW. There are apparently two different inputs. She has a streaming PC and she has a gaming PC. And when she turns her monitors off, multiple inputs could cause the, one of the inputs to default to one of the other PC monitors. Or the other PC What software setup. does she use to, to do that with? I, no. I, I don't know. Ask her. Because this right. is, I, I, I do know I, about this. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. And that may is horseshit. I, may I add someone <laughs> else to the call who may be able to add, answer the more technical aspects? Because I, I honestly don't know them. Absolutely. If I may, while we're waiting, I would very graciously ask that if we are given the opportunity for her to, as you said, throw the gauntlet down. That you would allow her sufficient time to collect herself before doing this, because she has faced an inordinate amount of pressure, <laughs> and that it can be ve it can be very emotional. She needs time to figure out how to fake the next one. Only a human being, and has been put on an international stage in front of literal millions of people that don't believe she did something that she did indeed do. And no, if, no, if she didn't. One person in this chat, or it's proven she didn't, or anyone had been accused of a crime they didn't commit. I think that you would be very. Uh, you would not be handling it well yourself, and uh, that it may take time for her to uh, get the accused of a crime in one of fucker it's a video game. That's true. That's true. <laughs> that is true. Specifications and to emotionally ready herself too, because she understands. Oh, I forgot to put it back. Sorry, guys. Okay. Terrible streamer, I know. Uh, who's the other person you're adding? In? Uh, I'm. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. I'm uh, adding him in. Yeah, and you're right. Obviously, being put under pressure like that. By the way, I I understand that you're right. I understand. Yo, what's up? Hi. Hey, bro. Why is why is she sending everyone else? The guy literally just said, "Oh, she's telling me what to say." <laughs> in, not in so many words, but essentially that's what he said. Bring her on. Why is she not the one defending herself? Why do we have the army of simps coming at us? This is all of these are red flags. <laughs> Um, how can I help? Good question. Indeed. Dapper, uh... Yes, was... I, I, added you, I added you the call because you were helpful in getting Queen's PC set up and can answer more questions related to her monitors being turned off and why that would be problematic for her. Right, so um, on one of her monitors, the one that is covered, uh, it has two inputs, one for the streaming PC and the other one for her main gaming rig. Yeah. And uh, sometimes, uh, turning it off and on again, it defaults to the other monitor. What software does she use? Whoa, 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 whoa. Turning it off and on again, it defaults to the other monitor. You mean the PC and not the monitor? Sorry, but this guy is talking about two different things. Yeah. And uh, sometimes, uh, turning it off and on again, uh, it has two inputs. So, um, okay. on one... Listen very carefully to what this guy is saying. Monitors being turned off and why that would be problematic for her. Right. So um, on one of her monitors, the one that is covered, uh, it has two inputs, one for the streaming PC and the other one for her main gaming rig. Yeah. And uh, sometimes uh, turning it off and on again, it defaults to the other monitor. This does not change anything about OBS. What he just explained is that if I have two streaming PCs, right? And my, or if I have two PCs, one is my streaming PC, one is my gaming rig, and my gaming rig is up on my monitor. If I turn my monitor on and off again, sometimes it'll default to the streaming PC instead of the gaming rig. This has zero influence on OBS and what OBS is capturing. Not an iota of influence on that. What software does she use? Uh, OBS on the streaming PC. In order to set up the two PC setup? Yeah, so it's running through a GoX, uh, sorry, a um, 
Elgato capture card. Which one? Uh, 4K. I can't be too certain on the specifics. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, let's find out. So I'm streaming right now. I'm using a two PC setup. I'm using the Elgato 4K capture card. <laughs> and I just turned okay. off my monitor. And the screen didn't change. It didn't change the uh, input? No. Why would it? And, how, um, what, and what, do you, what through... do you mean by the input? Uh, one is on HDMI cable, and another one is um, uh, DisplayPort, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it does not change the input at all in nope. any capacity. Uh, as you can see, I can move my mouse around, and um, it's kind of hard to tell. But uh, there's my screen. I don't know if you can tell right from there. Look, look. Then there's the... I love that Asmund uses... He does this a lot, by the way. This is not like shade or anything. <laughs> But she did the exact same thing, right? That's how we confirmed there was a third monitor because she's he uses it, right? He's smart. He uses it to like, oh, look, there's my monitor, right? <laughs> He's smart because he knows, oh, it's reflective. She's dumb because she should have known it's reflective and still held it up and showed her third monitor when she didn't want to. Like, this is, bro, the shade in this thing alone is hilarious, even though he doesn't intend to... I've seen him do this exact thing like a million times, okay? So he doesn't intend any shade, but the accidental shade is hilarious, bro. <laughs> Blank monitor, and then on the other side, there's the chat. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, yeah if, you, awesome. if you turn the monitor off, uh, it will not have any effect whatsoever. Not a single OBS, iota. Because OBS is capturing the information that's being put on the screen regardless. yeah not the screen it's capturing it's the like information the that's being routed the to the screen just simply the fact that you turn the point. screen off doesn't mean that information disappears uh, uh, bro well, like uh, these people sure, but she okay. might be... this is so crazy man these people first you're gonna create a, a blind a blind speed run when you don't know what you're doing then you're gonna use technical information but you have no idea about as your defense <laughs> like this is just, you're just compounding lies. You know what I mean? Like, this is crazy, dude. dude like, they just keep digging. They just, they just can't stop digging, dude. They're dwarves, man. It's in their nature, yo. Like, you know, this is so crazy, bro. Running OBS from her main PC. Bro, my cheeks are hurting, dude. Issue. Well, she was running it from her main PC. And the way I can tell yeah. that is that she, uh, what do you call it? She was showing OBS <laughs> on her main PC as well. So, so you right. don't know whether she was using a two PC setup or not. At the time, I don't know if she was using the two PC setup, but um, if both of them happen to be on at the same time, that's when the input issue could occur. The display. I mean, Bo both of the two PCs were on at the same time. Yeah. Um. Well, I don't really think that makes sense. No. Uh, it doesn't I make a difference either. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I I just think. I, I understand. It's like word. it's just a a basic misunderstanding of how a computer works, like at the most basic of level, right? And I don't mean basic as in oh everyone should know this. I mean basic as in the basics of an actual computer system, all right? So a computer, I don't want to go into this too deeply. A computer doesn't think in what we see. All it knows is zero and one, and that gets translated, right? So when I type the letter A, for example, that's gonna be, um, <clears throat> I need to, I need a visual representation. Fuck my life. Uh, now I need to show this on screen. Fuck. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. I'll cut this part out. <laughs> Let me um open this shit up. So, if we have any any form of information, right? If I press the 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 letter A, oh wow! If I do A, that would in in computer terms, these are arbitrary numbers. This doesn't make any a like a like a difference. That would be zero 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 one zero 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 one. For example, right? If I press B, 
That would be zero zero one zero 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 one zero. Now, okay, again, arbitrary numbers, right? And because this is how a computer works. It works with either a one or a zero. And if you add the ones and zero, you can get like multiple, right? This is a nibble. This is a, whatever. It doesn't matter. You don't need to know any of that. But that data gets translated the, the, through the operating system and then gets turned into a visual representation for us so that we can work with it. This visual representation, this monitor doesn't, if I turn this monitor off, this data still exists, all right? It's still being outputted. We don't actually, we just don't have the output device turned on, but that data doesn't just magically disappear, right? So if you, if you turn the monitor off, According to OBS, nothing happened. Nothing at all happened because OBS is literally in between, so to speak, right? The input and the output. So the computer is the input. The PC screen is the output. OBS inserts itself in there and siphons off that data to then give you another visual representation that you can send out on the internet, right? It's the basics of computer um, science, I suppose. It's insane to me that they even thought to use this as an example. Like, holy hell, bro. If you know anything about computer basics, then you immediately know these guys are full of horse doo-doo. <laughs> it's like, it's not even remotely close, bro. Crazy. The bottom of, of that particular question, I think the answer is just to say, okay, for the next run, you turn all the monitors off. I exactly. do think that the That's monitors sufficient. would have to be off. Every single monitor would have to be completely off. Uh, sure. Absolutely. Sure. Done. Again, I, I, I want to be transparent. I want to work with... The no community. phones either. I want to try to do everything I can to, and for her to be as transparent as possible because we understand that we're under such scrutiny. I'm not trying to dodge anything. I'm not trying to... Uh, to, to imagine, I imagine that this guy is probably not like fully in on it. You know what I mean? Like he might actually believe she's legit, because you would not say this otherwise. <laughs> like, there's no way this is gonna happen. You know what I mean? Like, there's no way because there's there's no way this was legit. Like, it, so many red flags, a mountain of evidence that this was fake as really 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 dumb arguments on why certain shit happened like there's no way this is gonna happen so i imagine this guy doesn't actually like he might actually believe she did this for real a true yeah a true believer it, it might he might 100 percent have drank the kool-aid <laughs> like, it's crazy like why would you why why else would you say i'm i'm actually baffled like i i up until now, I thought he was just in on it and just playing defense. But now I might, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking he might actually truly believe, <laughs> like, in, despite all of the evidence, right? Way with something. I'm, I have nothing to hide. She has nothing to hide. Oh, she, she did not cheat. She, she does though. Apparently, she has a third monitor to hide, right? Hmm. Um. So I'm not sure. Uh... Who, what, what's the name of the person that the third person that was added, uh, that they explained the tech stuff? Sorry, I'm not sure if I got your name. Uh, McLeaves. 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 Have you seen this video? I like that. Do you, do you understand like the nuances to the video, at least to a, a relative extent? Uh, I'm not sure how familiar you are with the, the topic. The blindfold run? Yeah. I, uh, I have been keeping an eye on it, yes. <laughs> so, what do you think? I think it's entirely possible that she 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 actually managed to do it. I've seen her kill this. That's um... that's that's a hedge, my bets. I think it's entirely possible. Wait, are you saying she did it or not? I I, th I think it's possible. <laughs> Talk about hedging your bets, there, dude. Holy hell! Uh, this monster multiple times. Sometimes while like she's playing, and she could turn around and look at you and still be killing the monster. So I think it's entirely possible. Do you think it's likely? Yes. Okay. Um, so why do you think that your opinion of it is so much different in terms of like your likelihood than somebody who does blindfolded speedruns all the time? 
well i might I'm, i may be biased because you know i've seen her do it personally mm. you know okay so you've seen her but do again, it well, so you've wait, wait. seen her do it personally yeah that means in, in real life do you mean in person or you've seen it yourself uh, in person physically yes you've physically seen her do altrion blindfolded not blindfolded not per se okay. but um mm -hmm. as she's playing like looking around the room acting like you know she's not even looking at the screen yeah she's sure. not even looking at the screen sometimes yeah yeah i mean i would assume that. that's I why mean... i'm saying it's like yeah, okay but okay. it's like there's so a difference between you, doing like... it fully blindfolded and like attacking a monster or it just needed an attack i can attack it for like 10 seconds hey what's up blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, the monster's about to move. I'm gonna have to. I'm not. I'm gonna have to look back because I actually can't do blindfolded speedruns, right? Oh, there we go. Hey, bro, I can look away from the screen, right? I used to. Okay, this is crazy. But Dain is in the chat and he knows this to be true, right? I used to play StarCraft Two heavily, and I would roll a cigarette in the middle of playing StarCraft Two, right? And I had like 120 to 170 APM, right? Which is kind of terrible, <laughs> but it's pretty good too. It's pretty good for for you know. It's better than. 50%, 60% of the of the player base? <laughs> of course, all of the crazy guys have like 200 to 300 APM. Don't ask me how. They all have Corporal Tunnel now, probably, but, you know. <laughs> but I would, I, was, I would roll a smoke in, in between the thing. That doesn't mean I could blindfold it or I could like... How do I... Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going with this analogy. <laughs> I'm just saying, you could do a lot of crazy shit, but that doesn't mean... You could do even more crazy shit. You know what I mean? You effectively know her in, in real life. And so it would make sense that you're both able to actually see her do this in person and everything. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah uh, I'm trying to think about whatever else there is to it. Because, like, yeah, I, I think that it just seems extremely unlikely that she's able to center her camera in the extent that she is. And Among also, other things, uh, you said that you helped her set up all of her tech stuff. Yes. Can you explain what each monitor would be for? Um, usually the left hand monitor would be for um, OBS, middle monitor, obviously the main gaming monitor, and <laughs> over the right hand side, uh, chatty and uh, sometimes Spotify. Also, the control and alt keys in Monster Hunter center the camera. And and Asmongold, may I ask a question? Because I'm trying to formulate I'm trying to formulate the conditions for which we would This guy's also like, may I ask just ask the fing question, bro. Potentially This ain't your teacher. It's just Asmongold, alright? We'd be repeating this. Um, it's just some dude in his in his streaming room, alright? He's I don't get why people do that, dude. May I ask a question? <laughs> like, just ask the question. What is this, bro? We ain't in school no more. I mean, technically, I am in school, but even there, you just ask the question, and you don't be like, Ex "Excuse me." No, you just ask the fucking question. Um, as you could, un as you all could understand, We're all adults. The entire run itself, would hope. in anywhere between ten to fifteen to twenty, or as many as thirty minutes, for a completed run, of course, is is a is a notable feat. My question to you is: If this is a question of her camera, of her ability to center her camera, then would Why are you singling out one thing of the multitude of problems that we're having? Like, it's just a big one. The camera's a big one. The fact that you hit the monitor, that's a big one. You then reach stuff off of it and then act like it's on your second monitor, that's a big one, alright? There's a million other problems. It's like, I'm gonna just single out on this thing because I think I have an argument for this one, right? Would you say that it's fair that all she has to do is replicate a small portion of a run for example five minutes what? rather than the entire thing i don't know that um because i don't like so as i said after this video i don't know what i don't know okay that's fair. so uh, I would, I, i'm just I, asking like I, I i would have to really think about that so control and the control and all center the camera is that correct that that's correct okay give me one second um I'm gonna yeah, go you ahead. You can see her use it not in the first attempt, but she does use it in the second kill. She uses uh, alt a few times. She never uses control. Um, but they are, I think I counted a total of two times mm -hmm. that she uses it to center the camera vertically. And almost every other time is to make a snap 90 degree turn, not to center the camera vertically. Okay, so if I use... I think she uses it in total around six or seven times. 
Okay. So, and I want to make sure that I'm inside of the... I'm inside of the boss fight with Altrion. So we have a complete perfect test for this. Is it Altrion or Alatrion? I to make sure I get my food buff and everything so I don't get hit in one kill. So you're saying that Gilding one in order to maintain the camera elevation, what she ended up doing was she was pressing the alt key, which is what recenters her camera, in order to keep that in the same position. Is that correct? I'm saying she did not do that. I'm saying that so then there how did were she two instances camera? where you could argue that she used it that way. There were two instances where her camera was a bit high. She pressed alt and it reset to neutral. And every how single she other know? Time... How did she know that her camera was a bit high? Because there's no sand cue for your camera being uh, looking into the air or on the ground. Time that she wanted to reset it to neutral, she did it manually using her mouse. Well, how would she be able to know that it wasn't neutral if she was blindfolded? Duh. I don't know. I, I if you had to guess. Do not know. Um, my guess, or at least the explanation that I believe that she would give, and I, I'm, I'm confident that she would give, is there is a setting in the game audio settings okay. called 3D audio, which claims to give uh, an idea of whether a monster is above or below you in a 3D sense. As far as I'm aware, headphones are not good at that at all, and the human ear itself is horrendously bad at telling uh, up yeah, and that's down. It's actually a, a well-known like, audio phenomenon where you can very easily be confused. I don't buy that for a second. That's above you is coming from below you because the human ear just, like, we've got an ear on each side of our head, so left and right is easy to I hear. Understand. Up and down sucks. So if I look at... If I look at, you know, for example, like hitting the button to recenter the camera, there's never an instance where recentering the camera will ever aim at Altrion's head. Right. Like there's never there's never a time where, for example, if I recenter the camera, it would aim at the head of Altrion. It would consistently keep it moved to where it was in a certain direction. And also, like, I'll I'll tell you that, like, at least from my experience. You definitely can't tell whether it's and, and like again, I've killed this monster literally once on the actual mode and once on easy mode So I don't really know what I'm talking about in terms of like the nuances of it But there's like no way in my mind to be able to hear any sort of audible difference whenever the monster's head is above or below you uh, yeah, I attempted it myself and I could not tell I was looking okay. up uh, at the ceiling for three attempts, I was looking at the floor, then for two attempts, where I was trying not to look at the ceiling, I was actively trying to push my camera down, um, but I, in zero attempts ever, kept the camera She does it perfectly, by the way. Despite all my blindfolded uh, practice. The only way that I could is there's a setting in the game settings where you can actually turn off uh, vertical camera movement at all like it just only goes horizontal yeah and that was super helpful and i was but she didn't surprised have that, on. that was nope. not used yeah yeah and the other people that did do blindfolded speedruns all used that setting or they did a lock-on i think actually yeah. every other one that i've seen has used a lock-on i don't think any of them have used the locked uh up camera. and down yeah yeah of course. Uh, movement yeah I, I think they just didn't want to deal with like trying to echolocate the entire fight uh, right. In Sekiro, the only times I ever echolocate are when the lock-on misses, or uh, a couple times I have to grab an idol, which makes like a low hum, but that's... It's horrible strategy. I hate when I sure. have to do it, but sure, yeah. it's just a couple times you have to. I understand. Yeah. Gold, yeah. May, I add, may I add our resident Electron, or Electron expert who taught her how to fight the monster? Bro! <laughs> why are they adding like a million different people, dude? Add her! There's a reason she's not on this call! When four different people are. To maybe explain some of the techniques as an expert in this monster? Sure. It's getting really dumb now. <clears throat> and also, like, I, I will say that the, the way that the camera is readjusted in the situation that you're talking about with, like, holding the alt or the control key does not re does not reflect at all the way that she re recentered the camera. Nope. It's immediate, it's extremely like robotic 
and there are no micro adjustments that happen at all and it never recenters the camera on the head and it actually recenters the camera in front of where the character is facing so like if yep. my character is facing this way it will recenter it uh, 90 degrees very clearly the character, like if my character it's almost well, like it she could see where the monster was crazy isn't it it left Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I was saying. Bro, how is this still 20 more minutes? Or <laughs> that uh, it's used a few times throughout the run, but it's never specifically used uh, to. Well, it's used maybe twice to center vertically, and it yeah, it's never used to aim on the it's head. It's never yeah, it's never manually. used to readjust. Yep, exactly. So the person that you're adding in is a. The person who like knows a lot about killing the boss. I do. Okay. How many times have you killed the boss? Uh, eighty-eight hundred. Okay. Do you think that the kill that she did while she was blindfolded was legitimate? I do. Why? Um, there's been a lot of times that I've seen her personally run it in Discord. Can you do it? I did it two years ago. Where? Two, three years ago, something like that. In my own personal Discord, once upon a time, on oh, a dare. But there's and, like, okay. But no evidence of that. Gotcha. So you were able to do a blindfolded, and what do you think about the video that was released about it? About Carl's video? Yeah, Carl's video. I watched bits and pieces of it. Okay. <laughs> what the hell? So I watched. Okay, which bits and pieces? That's not an. That's not an answer. I watch bits and pieces. Why? First of all, if you're so convinced that she did, why wouldn't you watch the full vid so you could like properly explain all these very very big red flags? <laughs> why wouldn't you do that? It's almost like you don't want to watch it. His and Abyssos, actually. I actually found Abyssos to be better. Okay. More explanation. So what did Abyssos? What was this? What was the? I forgot to well, mention that, yeah. Actually, actually like... Carl Jobs mentions that as well. So if you watch Carl Jobs' video, look below in the description. Uh, here we go. <clears throat> Let me add that in here as well. Abisoft also made a video about this. It's um, it's like if... another 17 minutes, but it's actually, again, it's it's really well, it's well worth it. It's, again, the, the drama about this, it's glorious. So if you're like me, you'll, you'll love it. I consulted Bubsy and he uh, went through and, you know, kind of showed like the, uh, the the ability to peek through said bottom of the blindfold, I guess. The blindfold that was recommended by all of the, what I guess, you know, professional blindfold speedrunners. Me. It was recommended by me. Oh, was it? Okay. Yep. Sorry, Mitrix, you and I have not had a chance to actually well, speak yet. Mitrix, and also, can you, if you tilt your head in a certain way, can you see through that blindfold? Through? No. Below? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, to Below. The side? Well. Yes. Yeah. It, it is. It is possible with any yep. any blind. When you wear it very, very softly, I don't know how to pronounce that. You know how when you put a blindfold on, right? When you when you would blindfold somebody else, it'd be like very rah, so you know it covers them completely and they can't <laughs> can't see anything. But if you put a blindfold on yourself and you do it half assly, oh, all of a sudden. Oh, what's this though? What are you guys doing? Oh. <laughs> Which you can see from her posture as well. When she had a blindfold on that she could see through. When she had a blindfold on that she couldn't see through but could see underneath. It's quite obvious. Like any blindfold to potentially see down because it just creates a gap with your nose. Um, the one that I recommended does have a little uh, fabric flap that's sort of supposed to prevent that because mm -hmm. it's a sleep mask that's what blindfolds uh, are, are for are. without yeah. you know getting yourself you know investigated by the fbi or something i don't know yeah but um so it's supposed to keep the light out from the bottom but that that little fabric flap at the bottom doesn't do a a great job i can definitely see out through a hole next to my nose if i if i try to mm -hmm. So, like, what you're saying is that if, if, for example, you did tilt your head in a certain way with that blindfold on that you suggested, you could very easily be able to see the screen. Just very uh, simple. Yeah. Okay. Yep. 
Another nail for the coffin, boys. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, well. <laughs> Shame. I mean. Shame. I don't even really know what else to say. I mean. So you think that it's legitimate. And you think that, like, because it, it's kind of crazy to me that pretty much every single other person who's done any sort of blindfold speed running at all doesn't think it's legitimate. And that's what I think makes this interesting is that you said that you think that it is. Is that sorry, you're addressing me, uh, Asriel, right? Yes, yes, Asriel. Sorry, there's a lot of new people. I'm, I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> no, and that's fine. That's fine. you're not the only I one. I, I'm trying to figure out who you're addressing. Yeah, there's uh, everyone except for the person that should be there. Is there? Sorry. Convenience. No, I, I I find it to be legitimate. I have no reason not to believe so. So, um. What about the evidence that was presented? Like, for example, that she had the third monitor and she had OBS on the third monitor? What do you um, I've seen the setup. It's chatty. So, chatty doesn't reflect the video. Bro! Can't she move? Bro, you know a monitor is like, it doesn't, it doesn't always show the same thing, right? Like, right now my monitor is showing OBS on my second screen. Oh, I just moved it. It's on my first screen now. I guess, I guess my, my second monitor is no longer the OBS monitor. Oh my god, fuck it. Bro, these people, man, what the hell is this? This is so asinine and stupid. Move OBS I mean, I guess there's the a monitor with Chatty. <clears throat> I mean, it's very possible that she did. I don't see why she did. Uh, like, I don't find. I don't see a camera on it moving it over, so I can't verify that. The only person well, that would honestly know would be her. Correct? Not necessarily, because like, so there's a lot of context clues. This video, and this is a, a pretty important part of the video. He showed mm -hmm. that she had the mouse button clicked down, and then yeah. the mouse was also detecting because the mouse it detects all movement, right? Including correct. clicks so and also. Token, I say again, next time turn that on by, afterwards. She could have been dragging whatever over there, correct? Yes, that is correct. But don't you find it so to be evident? Oh, like evidence? Yeah. No, I find it. I find it. I find all of the speculation. I find that he took two weeks to come up with a whole bunch of plausible ideas like hey let's look at lock on hey or let's look at what was it uh, aimbot really aimbot one person in the world has the software yeah so so i think that the reason things. why it was obs is because mm -hmm. whenever she finished doing the uh whenever she finished doing the run and she took her blindfold off she fixed her hair looking at the third monitor that's only something and then literally rinse <laughs> You think? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've been in Discord calls with her before. I've seen her fix her hair for no apparent reason. Yes, because she's probably looking at herself in the Discord call. Or she took her blindfold off, moved her headset around, and moved her hair out of the way of her headset. I don't know. It does. I mean, I, I understand. I understand what you're saying. You're saying that, like, basically, the only time anybody fixes their hair is when they stare in a mirror. I think that you ever whenever, run your hand through your hair? Uh, I do. Randomly? Um, whenever okay. I ch whenever I m I do that, you're right. Uh, of course, I think everybody does that. But I think that whenever I do that, I look in different places, and I don't look in the one place that I'm also showing chat from. And <laughs> yes, also, chat, I'm flirting. Uh, and, and so, um, also whenever I do that, this guy's salty I'm that he's not, getting raked in the front, chat. And, and if I do have a mirror in front of me, I will look at the mirror. I think anybody would naturally. If you're fixing your hair or moving your your hand through your hair, you're probably going to be looking at a mirror, if a mirror is present. Does that make sense? Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that that's what makes me think that she moved OBS, is because obviously. The so like basically, based off of the movements of the mouse, it is evident that she probably moved a program over to that other monitor. And based off of the fact that she looked at her hair and she moved her hair at the end of the video after she took the blindfold off, makes me think that it was OBS. Can I add something here as well? Is that right before we see her dragging uh, something over to the right monitor? We do see OBS on the middle screen, and you can kind of track her. I just, I, I wanna, I wanna just once more point out how casually they're now talking about this third monitor, even though she only showed two monitors. She, she only admitted the two monitors, and now all of a sudden, oh yeah, obviously she has a third monitor. Yeah, yeah, of course. 
Of course she has a third monitor. Come on. <laughs> like, what is this not? Come on, bro. This is so obvious, man. These guys are so transparently fake. It's fucking funny, dude. How can it be like... Th There's no way they're not in on it, bro. You're not this dumb. Nobody is this dumb, dude. Mouse movement and see that it could not have gone anywhere aside from the dragging to the right. We did... In my opinion. ...actually see it on the middle monitor first. Uh, then their dragging happens. And then afterwards after the fight it's no yeah. longer on the middle monitor and you you can see that right there at, at 13 12 uh you, you and it's very evident that obs is there and that she would be able to see herself through obs so uh yeah i i think that again it's just the likelihood of this being anything other than obs is just extremely low I would say it's it's bordering on near zero. It's not happening. It's just not what it's not what it is. Um, Asmongold, may I ask a question? Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Um, when we, I remember on your this guy twelve, you reacted to uh, the the video that came out before she did her second run. Sure, the first initial video. You, yeah, yeah. You yourself said after it was quote unquote disproven and it was made to be fake, and you yourself said. Do I think that it's impossible? No. I think the, that it is unlikely. In fact, I think that it is less than unlikely. And and again, I'm not arguing what that, is that What something... is that? What's that? I, I'm, I'm what, not sure. What, what, what does that have to do with it? So what I'm saying is is that we're, we're all talking about how these things are unlikely, that it's very unlikely that she did this. It's very unlikely. It's unlikely. It's unlikely. It's a 3% chance. It's a 97% chance this isn't real. What I'm asking is to, like I mentioned before, just repeat it. Um, Re repeat and, it. And, and the, difference, the difference between the first time and the second time is that whenever I made that value judgment, I didn't know how much I was uninformed about the different nuances of any sort of speed. I know, right? And doing it with the blindfold. Super easy so to do, my, my, my dad. value judgment there. <laughs> okay, <was> sorry. <laughs> Someone in the chat said, instead of relying on OBS, if only she had mirrored her main monitor on her third. Easily, dude. Easily doable. <laughs> and then she didn't have to move it around, and maybe no one would have found it. But <clears throat> then again, she literally reads off of her third monitor and then looks at it at thirds. <laughs> like, it's so obvious. It's actually, it's like what Carl says in the video, like, he was thinking way too far out of the box, dude, which I, I definitely have a problem with that as well. Like, I always go well, far to extract, like, she has to have done X, Y, or Z when she just, like, gives it away herself by reading off of the damn monitor, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and uneducated. And I would say even in the case now, it is still inaccurate and only partially educated. And if I was looking to make constraints about actually doing a legitimate run, I would consult somebody who knew more about it than I did. So using me as a reference to myself, whenever I refer to myself as an unworthy or unreliable, uh, you know, way mm -hmm. to to judge it, I don't really think that's a very good argument. Okay. I guess I was just saying that just because something seems unlikely doesn't mean that it's impossible and but if I'm something asking... seems unlikely it's more it it's probably not happening right i mean like, <laughs> yeah. you know for example well um, there's a one percent chance she didn't fake it i mean sure that's true but there's a 99 percent chance she did <laughs> you know i'm a if i was a betting man and sometimes i am i'm gonna bet on the 99 percent there yo is it likely to flip a coin and get heads two times in a row yeah sure is it likely to flip a coin and get heads 200 times in a row? No. Are they both possible? Yes. Is the probability of each in instance the same? No, it's not. So just because there is a probability of something not being true or being true doesn't equate all probabilities to each other. Like you're talking That's about like a, like a likelihood of like, yeah, maybe this is possible versus yeah, maybe the people that are looking at this that have more experience in this than probably any of us do playing the base game even also think that it's improbable. Sure. And in and, and then in that vein, I will concede that it is incredibly unlikely and I yes. don't want to push anyone too far. I don't want to get into anything heated or a debate or anything. It's not my intention. Sure. Um I I would very much like 
for her to be given an opportunity to demonstrate that she can indeed do this under the correct constraints of a, of a professional, mm -hmm. such as Mitra's or his colleagues, who would be able to set up the constraints and controls to do this in a transparent fashion, given enough time to allow herself to ready herself emotionally, physically. Come on, bro. Just do it publicly, on a public setup, with some with people around you watching. And I don't mean your simps. I mean the people <laughs> like, like it's that simple. And and to be able to perform it again, well, under and, the proper standards. And also, I mean, like I do find it to be interesting that whenever the first video came out that was disproving her, she had no problem coming out right away, and saying this video is bullshit. I'll prove you wrong. And now the second time, she's not doing that. Nope. That's, that to me seems to be very interesting. Yep. And I think that the reason why is that the first video, the people that were like, basically the accusations that, my that people had no. were yeah. wrong. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> was triggering me. Mm -hmm. There's no way that anyone can definitively prove what was moved where. There's no one that can definitively prove if she was able to see through or looked underneath the blindfold. And it is a very convincing argument. There's a lot of suggested evidence there. I'm not, I'm not saying that there isn't. Not at all. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm saying that if that is truly the question, can she do this or not, uh, the, uh, under the presence of all the right constraints and doing it correctly, with all the experts involved, that would that then be enough? Yeah, exactly. That's that's what people. That's what these guys. What I'm like. Here's where I'm like a little bit confused about whether they're actual like simp's in terms of like they're in on it or whether they're just gullible and they just straight up believe it, in despite of all of the evidence. It's not that <clears throat> there's a lot, a lot of circumstantial evidence. And guess what? You can be, <laughs> you can be um, convicted, shall we say. And this, this, it's a video game. It's not a crime. It's, I'm just using these terms. Don't look too much behind them. Um, convicted of a crime when there's a overwhelming amount of circumstantial evidence right like okay we don't put you at the scene of the crime but x y z a b c d e f g i'll put you like right next to you, you know what i mean it's like uh some people still go to jail all right so you you only have to and it, it is not that serious here's the thing right it's not that serious so the burden of proof would even would be much lower in 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 that sense so when there's a multitude of massive red flags that pushes us towards, like the chat just said, that pushes us towards, say, 80% chance, then you're guilty. <laughs> you know? like, if there's an 80-20, and according to this, the own guy that they brought in, the blindfold expert, there's a 97% chance she faked it. <laughs> right? That's, yeah. You're done. Okay? You're done. You're done. The 3% chance is so unlikely, we're gonna go with the 97% chance. You know, that's like... Basics. <laughs> Basic logic. Um... I don't know. I really don't know. And that's the truth. I would have to look and see what that proof would be. And I would have to see... I would try to figure out who it was and what it was that you would need for proof. Because I don't know enough about it myself. Okay. I look forward to yeah. more conversations with Mitra's and whomever else. That I look forward to more drama. Yes, sir. We could okay. talk to. Give us more drama. This is hilarious. Information in a transparent fashion so that mm -hmm. we could do this. So, I am... Of the same conviction as the speedrunner guy, the blindfold expert guy. Um, I think this was horseshit. <laughs> Do I know 100%? 
No. Is it very likely? Yes. <laughs> okay. After all of this, after all this evidence, and then these guys coming in and like trying to use or I don't even I honestly the the whole computer science thing when I, where I explained the whole input output thing that baffles me so much. Okay, I've been in that stuff for my whole life, right? I've been in IT for my whole life. Uh For me it's like second nature, right? I know these things. I know a lot of people don't know these things, but if you're this ignorant of how a computer <laughs> how a basic computer system works, you should probably not try and like use your ignorance as a defense in, we're in someone's cheating scandal right it's just like holy hell bro like any any person with a modicum of computer intelligence will realize instantly you're full of shit okay bro crazy i'm super looking forward to the next part of this saga bro and we'll be here to cover it hopefully it's not a two and a half hour video oh my god i'm I'm so sorry, guys. If you made it to the end, I thank you so much for hanging out. <laughs> I'm live on Twitch every day, usually from like 7 to 10, 11 now that I go back to school. But it's like 3 p.m. now and I'm not even 1.30 in the, in, the, in the afternoon. I'm live now. So whatever. Thank you so much for hanging out. See you guys later. Peace the hell out.